fast train times. Choo choo. Me 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 you 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 ba ba be ba 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 be ba 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 do be ba 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 skip be ba hello everybody it is Friday it is the day of fry this is the day of Friday Friday today today we're here we're together how are we getting on are we very 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 well let me say. A couple of bits, let me catch up with you, holy moly. Helia Terra, thank you very much for 10 months. You're a one month old so baby, now how's it feel? How does it feel? Sasha the Sheep, thank you for five months. Tragic Costa, thank you for subbing with your prime. I appreciate you very, very much. Helia, thank you for gifting a sub to Val Kelly, Alex Burr, thank you for 100 bits. And last, thank you for kicking off a hype train. Let me say hello to the people as I see them. As I see them, now who do I see? Who am I seeing in here? Let me have a look of you. Let me have a look. Uncle Anchovy, hello and thank you for the bits. Welcome hey. in. You are very, very welcome. Arctic Ash, hello. Norwegian Herring, just a goat in the tree. Zarga Dragon, howdy, 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 howdy. Mochi Moss, Perona, dude, ness, ness, ness. Keza, hello. I'm, I'm looking. Waffle, hello. Do you know that literally anytime something goes wrong, it's Michael Eisner's fault? At least it's what, roughly 12 hours of binging defunct and videos has taught me. Oh my god, I. I hope I'm not responsible. Well, maybe I am responsible for this, and maybe I should be happy about being responsible for this. Cassia, hello, can't stay long, so I'm going home for the weekend, so I have a bus and a train to catch an hour. Have a nice time! Cassia, enjoy your good self. I hope you have a lovely, lovely little time. Who else is here? I don't want to be missing people. Bunny Mumble Slow, who's that? Uncle Anjovi, thank you. Feels bad, Isaac. <laughs> Thank you for additional bits, you are very kind. Dr. Chloe, hello! I saw you saying over in Discord that you could make it today. It's the first time in a while that you'd be able to make it on a Friday. It's lovely to have you. How are you keeping? Are you very, very well? Blazing Asian, hello! Mr. Eliza Bennett, hello! Lamb and Dragon, hello! Holy Panda, it's been a hot minute. I hope you're keeping very, very, very well. What is going on? Are we all good? Are we good? Are we good? I'm saying this because I'm trying to stall for like one second while I set up the music. <laughs> I love cats. Hello. Welcome in. How are you keeping? Are you very, very well? Uh, very, very well. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you for more bits. XD, You're very kind. take my bits in it. You're very, very kind. Holy moly. We do have... Oh, wait, wait. Hang on. The music ran out. No, don't autoplay. Please, I'm begging. I'm begging. Don't autoplay. Don't autoplay. <gasps> Bunny Mumbles, thank you for five months. Five of them. Five of them. Da, 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 da. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Give me, give me like one second. I want to try and find a nice like Pokemon music mix. Who's that? Uncle Anjo, you wild child. If you play Stardew, who do you marry in the game? Penny, Penny. It's always Penny, Penny, Penny. No compromise. Okay, maybe a little compromise. Penny, Penny today. Penny yesterday. Penny next week. Penny last year. Penny next year. Penny's lovely. And Abigail. Okay, Abigail's pretty cool. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Give me one second. I gotta get some tunes going. Gonna get oomts, oomts, oomts. I see Viking. Welcome in. Hello. I see you. I see Viking. How are you getting on? Sleepy boy. Cake stream before life work is good. Oh, you guys. You guys. Let me get some nice... I don't want peaceful Pokemon music. I want to I want to move and groove. Where's my move and groove? Oh, we got a happy mix of music. That could be... Oh, that's very loud. All right, I'm here. I went Abigail, I'm here. I first played, and then Haley. I'm here! Hello! It is the day today. Bobbington, welcome in. How are you doing? Room Master and Clopstool and Take One. And lads, thank you very, very, very much for Hype Train. You are, you are too kind. You are three kind. We haven't even done anything yet. <laughs> oh my goodness. Have my tea to wash this? I didn't. Don't judge me. I did get a Red Bull today because I, I woke up and I felt grand. I felt completely grand, but I was like, you know, a little, little sleepy. You Jedi, are all good like, eggs. You're a good egg. All of you. All of you. Every single one of you. Nobody getting left out. Nobody. Oops. 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 I haven't. Maybe I shouldn't have this. 
<laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have this. Pastor Lucille, this deal. Niello. Niello. Oh, we got a lot of people making? in today. Holy moly. And Uncle Anchovy, thank you very much for the bits. We are making, as you can, can I just, I, and I'm not being rude, are people able to see the stream title? Because I always say, if we're on a Friday, I always say in the stream title what we're making. But if you're ever unsure on a Friday, you can always do exclamation mark recipe. Don't worry at all. It happens to the best of us. Don't worry. Mind of Sophia, hello. And Fen Alien, hello. Did I read your name right? Hello, how are you doing? And you just max me. Have you played much of Pokemon Legends? I haven't. I haven't, I don't actually have it yet. I might pick it up because I've seen little bits and pieces of it and honestly, it looks pretty good. Do we want, listen, 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 listen. I didn't see it, I wasn't looking 3XD. It's all right, it do be like that sometimes. It do be like that sometimes. I hope you're having a good morning for yourself. Thank you very much for the bits. There is a particular Pokemon like happy music that I can't find. I hope it hasn't been taken down. Oh. Holy moly. Haley says I can see them on PC. That's all right. That's all right. Yudicus Maxi says it's 100% worth it so much, but I've been hearing nothing but good things about it. Like, genuinely. Oh, I, I missed the J in your name. I'm so sorry. I, my, my brain is getting ahead of me while, I, you know. Hope you're having a good one today, though. Is it Fenj Alien? Fenj Alien? I'll get it eventually. I hope you're well. Oh my goodness. I have heard, like, honestly, nothing but good things. Like, I know people were having a little laugh. I started playing Pokemon Toe. Are you enjoying it? Are you very much enjoying it? Thank you very much for the bits. I thank you very, very much. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, Thor says I'm about to play, start playing Legends right now. Now, without spoilers, if anyone's... Like, I don't know how much of the, the story has been revealed, like, publicly or whatever. But, um... Tell me if you're enjoying it, but do not spoily spoil. Because, like, it is. this is literally the first day it's out. I know in some countries it's, like day two or whatever but but don't spoil it for anybody no spoiling um the preludes are roughly an hour long that's good to know that is good to know good to have a little little heads up holy my, I'm yep, my brother is picking up the new one for me uncle anchovy thank you very much for the bits but you um <laughs> You don't have to spend bits every time. We, I, I do read chat fairly actively. I appreciate you, but you, you, we, we can't put that kind of pressure on TTS, man, at this hour of the afternoon. <laughs> Strawberry Alchemy, I went to buy it from the usual place to get my games. They're sold out. I imagine there's fine demand for it, because like the the, the pre-release reviews, if that's what you call them, I don't know what you call them, were very positive. Don't mind me, I'm just... Oh, we went to the washing machine! Oh my God! <laughs> Oh my god, I actually made that! Okay, now I have to get a clean one out of the press. That was just the one I wiped the table dry with, so I was like, oh, I should probably get a clean one. Lads, I'm telling you something, between flipping that pancake a couple of weeks ago and that just there, like, I'm feeling great about myself. <laughs> Nothing but the finest play. I am TTS man. It's Friday. I am tired. Poor TTS, man, he's not able for it today. Thank you so much for the bits, Delia. I thank you very much. Vivid Bloodsucker, hello. Um, spoiler free question, is Legend Arceus better than recent Pokemon games? See, it's different from everything I've heard is that it's just completely different. So I don't know if you can really, you know, weigh it up against others. Hedge Wizardly though. Hedge Wizardly, thank you for 12 months. That that's a whole year. That's a, that's a whole year start to finish, that's an entire year. Holy, holy moly. Oh my goodness. Is that Robins on the apron? Yes, they're little Robins. It's, it's, it's to appreciate this little Robin over here. I see Viking, I know you're new to the community, so if you'd like to give Dave the Robin a little pat on his head, exclamation mark, Pat Dave. I'm gonna just have a little look and see if I can find the Pokemon mix that I, oh, here we go. Five hours of happy and upbeat Pokemon music. That's what, that's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I don't wanna have to change this again today. I just wanna let this go. Add one of two. That's this this is wicked. This is wicked carry on. Voith Hill, hello. Um, the most you did there for a whole year, it was very satisfying. What did I do? I've already forgotten what I did. Thor says I'm gonna do a big lurk now as I finish Mugen train them play the, the Pokemon. You enjoy yourself. Lads, while I have you, I have something very, very important to address. Just for anyone who didn't make it last night. Something incredible happened two days ago. For this month. We hit our song goal! I can replace my monitors that I didn't steal. 
I didn't steal them. But I can replace them now. Yes! Hey, 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 thank you so much. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, I'm actually... Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Thank you so much. Hey, 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 hey. I can unsteal my monitors. Listen, you want to fight me? Oh, on the topic of technology, I'd like to show you something. We had an incident with the Google Home a couple of weeks ago. So I'd like to show you what I found that I can do. Okay, Google, what's my name? Your name is It's in the game. <laughs> Why? Because I can. Because I can. <laughs> oh, neat me. Hello, who else is coming? I have to said hello to it. John Hart. Yeah, hello. Okay, close down thanking the spy devices. What are you going to spy on me for? Setting timers so I don't forget my cups of tea. I actually do that. Like, honestly, if I if I set a five minute timer while my tea is brewing, I know that probably seems like a long time, but I like strong tea. I will actually remember it. I will go back. I'll finish making my cup of tea. It'll be great. Half Believer, hello, how are you doing? Sleepy Boy uses the music for serving right after. As if no, nothing strange happened here at all. Nothing strange. No strange things. I hope you're proud. I'm so proud. I think one of my favorite ones is, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, bear with me. I promise this is worth like a minute of your time. Promise. Um, Zarka Dragon says, next month's sub goal is a new Friday laptop, right? Oh, I don't know. This is holding up fine, I think. This is holding up fine. I don't, I, that would be, I'd have to bump this, the goal up quite considerably. That's quite a lot of money. I don't know if I'd feel right with it. I am gonna use this until it falls apart and then complain the whole way that it's falling apart. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna do something very important. <gasps> Kate and Tails, hello, it's been a while, hello, stress, start new job, it's going so well, and I'm much happier in real life, yes! Hey, 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 give it up, give it up. I'm delighted that things are going a little better for you, Kate. How are you keeping? Are you very, very well? Miss Elizabeth says, I like strong tea to the point where I forget about it for 30 minutes, oh no, no. That's, that's, that's too long for, well, it's too long for me anyway. It's too long for me. Now, give me one second. Okay, select all. Now you're gonna have to trust me on this. It's gonna take a second. Select all. Hang on. There we go. Who was that? Who was that? Who was that? Alex Burp, thank you for giving us up to Keaton Tales. Thank you very, very much. I thank you so much. All right, that's it. We're not touching this anymore. I'm gonna do this in a minute. <laughs> Patron, hello. Just made us make flatbread with the leftover dough from yesterday's scout meeting. Oh, nice. Very, very nice. I hope it is delicious and fantastic and very, very good. Very good. Is anybody else baking anything today? Cooking anything nice today? Anyone got some culinary plans? Mrs. Shadow, hello. And hello from Germany. And hello from Dublin, Ireland. How are you keeping? Giving, 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 giving. You're part of this now. In, in, in. What I can do, then I may regret, but I might leave my name as this. Okay, Google. What's my name? Your name is your name is your name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's it, I'm done with that now, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> That's all, I need to get that out of my system and I feel better for it. Anyway, um, Sasha says I can't really bake today, no, um, no one other than me is gonna eat it. Oh no, you could make something small, but I understand not wanting to, to waste food, you know? I understand, I understand. Bloody pinata, hello, how are you doing? All right, all right. We're doing a Pokemon recipe today. A Pokemon themed recipe. And I wanna show hands who 
has seen Pokemon the first movie, the original or the, the very cursed remake, I don't really mind. In case you have to has anyone used a frying pan as a drying pan yet? I, I could use a frying pan as a drying pan, but it's not raining yet. The only good movie. It's it's so good. Have you ever tried talking to Pikachu? Actually, should we not bring Pikachu in here? Just to oh, should we not bring Neef in here? I think I, I feel like Neef should be overseeing the operations today. Like Pikachu is Pikachu's fine. Pikachu won't mind. Are we really expected to leave Meef out of this? Jedi, thank you for gifting a sub to Casey Edwards. I thank you very, very much. And Johansson, hello. I'm attempting to clean my utterly crusted oven and baking sheets. Got the strongest cleaner from the store, judging from the warning symbols. Also, yellow. Hope you all have a nice end of week. I hope you get it clean, because cleaning an oven is just, it's drudgery. It's such an awful task. I hate doing it. I hate doing it so much. Caroline, hello. Everybody who has not met Meef, say hello to Meef. Say hello. He is here. He is here. I don't have another hat for him, so I might stand him back over here. Cause I can't, I don't know if I can really get him to stand there. Otherwise I'll be, I'll be nonstop like standing him back up, but he's gonna be there. And you can, you can kind of see him. You can kind of see him. Oh, he's good. He's good. Me, me, me. Oh my goodness. I need to share a copic in the Discord that Meef reminded me of. Oh, I'm, I'm very excited. Oh, comic. I, I was like, com a copic marker? I mean, fair enough. Go by ghost, hello. How are you keeping? Come in, come in, come in. As always, lads, we're gonna, I, I need to, I need to like, oh my God, that was my spine. All right, I feel better though. I feel so much better. I'm gonna have a few sips of this and get myself going like Newman and then we're gonna start. So I'll give you a quick run through of the recipe. This is a cream stew. So in the, the very start of Pokemon, the first movie, there's, there's the whole scene where like the, the, the song plays and he's battling the trainer, but just before that, it's either, I think it's just before that, in the very start, um, Brock is sitting down, he's making a little stew. And he's like, this is my lazy boy no chew stew. And I, you don't even really get detail of it, but it just looks and sounds amazing. So a couple of years ago, I looked up, I was like, Did it, has anybody got a recipe for this? Like what kind of stew would you even make it? And it's a cream stew, which means we get to put 400 grams of cream cheese in this stew. And I'm very excited to do that. I'm very, very, very excited. That's a lot of cheese. Rachel hates lag. Hello. Come in, come in, come in. Lady Marissa says cheese quest featuring stew. Exactly. It's a lot of cream cheese. It's great. So you put in, aha, aha, ha, ha, ha. You know what? I can introduce it. You're telling me a cheese creams this stew? Yes. I can bring in the vegetable curd. I love this stupid little thing. So we're going to be adding broccoli. We have carrots. We have spuds. There's chicken in the fridge. Now, if you are vegetarian, if you just don't like chicken, if you don't have chicken in the house, if you don't want to make it that way, I honestly think it would taste really good without chicken if you just have a nice stock. So, you know, it'll, it'll be grand. If you're a vegetarian, you can have it meat free. I, I hope you have it meat free. <coughs> oh, excuse me. But yeah, so you should be able to adapt this to lots of different diets. Now, I'm not, if you want to make it vegan, I don't know what a good substitute for the cream cheese would be in this particular application. I, I know there's vegan cream cheese, is, if, I, if I remember correctly, um, but I don't know how that works for something like this. So, you know, you might have to look into that yourself, but I know you can make this vegetarian very, very easy. It's a very simple recipe, which I think would be nice because this is the last, wait, is this the last stream of the month? It's not, okay, okay, wait, I, I, we have one more stream this month and that's on Monday. I was like, oh, wait a second, that doesn't feel right. It's the second last stream of the month, I suppose. <laughs> uh, I'm alert because I need to get back to emails and all that grown up job things. Ooh, very good. You get your lurk on and we will have you when we have you. Are you sure it's not cheesecakes as Icy Viking? I'm, I'm not sure. I made a cheesecake a couple, couple, when did I make the cheesecake? 
What about silken tofu? You could. Also, hello, Taurus Rising. How are you doing? I have not cooked with silken tofu. It's something I would like to do more of. More, I say more of it than I've ever done before. I'd like to try silken tofu in something this year. That's that's. I need to make a little list of things I want to do. I think I would have done that sooner, but look. Eight, hello, and a happy Friday to you. Are you keeping it well? Rachel Hay Flag says, it's snowing here, so some soup would be real nice right now. Oh my goodness, soup. Soup. There's never a bad time for soup. Never a bad time for soup. Let me show you what I have. I've got two things in Ikea recently, neither of which we're actually going to use today, but I just think they're neat and I might as well show them to you now. Bit of stream and hello, I heard a teenager say, say sussy baka in town. How do you feel? How do you feel? Lady Capbar, hello, so I can do basically soy milk, but thick. I, I can't, I, I can't be dealing with soy milk at all. It makes me feel unwell but not in an allergic way but it, it, it ain't for me i got a juicer to juice things look at this 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 look at look meef got beef in the teeth oh no I gotta give him a toothpick look at this enormous juicer contraption oh it squeaked no i'm so sorry Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. I think it's neat. It's got a little lip and everything. Look, fancy, fancy. So now I don't have to keep stabbing fruit and I can actually do this a normal way. Um, Resident Scarecrow, hello, good morning. At work and be lurking most of the time. Have really weird headache. Might head home early. If you need to look after yourself, you look after yourself, all right? You gotta rest the brain sometimes. Don't be pushing yourself if you don't think you're able for it. Oh my goodness. I also got, and this one has been a long, long time coming. Let me show you. Let me show you. Stabby, stabby, be dangerous. No, 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 no. No, Oi, no stabby. No stabby. No stabbing fruit anymore. Like, what I was doing before to juice citrus fruits was I would cut it in half and I would, like, poke a fork into it and then squeeze it. And I don't know if that's a good idea, but it worked fine, but I just didn't want it to, I didn't want to keep doing that. I felt like I was gonna take the hand off myself someday, you know? You know? You know? Right, we're gonna, I'm just gonna do that because it's a little easier. Cosmic, hello, how are you keeping? Hello, hello. Additional kitchen implements. This is something I wanted for a while. And that is a decent quality icing bag. Icing bag for icing things. Because what I would like to do this year is get better at like fancy icing. And by get better, I mean do fancy icing. This is like, this is a decent enough quality bag that I can reuse, I can wash, reuse the whole lot. Uh, Cause every other uh, piping bag, like I wanted to get, you know that you can get like the fabric ones with like a certain thing through it. Couldn't find them. They're just sold out everywhere I looked. Uh, probably somewhere really obvious I didn't look now, mind you. So this comes with a couple of attachments. I couldn't tell you the price of this now. I would have to check again. Cause I just, you know, when you go into Ikea, you just pick up a load of stuff and you, you know. But I also got in this box with this, are we gonna put icing on the stew? Absolutely not. You know what else they give you with this? Oh god, what else do they give you? Yeah, I'd love to tell you, but... How the... Oh, like this. Like this, give me a sec, give me a sec. And why the door to your right looks like it was pushed into the wall? Because it essentially, to tell you the truth, it essentially was pushed into the wall. I honestly think most of this house was made like that, so... Um, Galway Ghost says, I live nowhere near Ikea, it's not my side of the country, sadly. It's not at all, there's only one. There is one singular Ikea. Well, there's technically two, but it's one. There's one Ikea. I always thought they'd open one in Cork, but maybe they just don't think it's worth, worth it. So while I was in Ikea, because I wanted to get lots of nice little baking things, I got a hacksaw. Not really. It's, a, it's for cutting cakes in half, like this way, so that you can then ice the middle. It's actually really cool, to be honest. Like, it's a very clever little thing. A hacksaw. <laughs> Mozzarella, hello, just finished streaming. I'm feeling good. How are you doing today? Everyone, 
Well, I'm doing well. How's everyone else doing? I'm feeling good. The only weapon that can vanquish Cake Jumper. Beep, beep, beep. Oh, we have to keep the hacksaw away from Dave. No, no, we can't. We're not giving Dave the hacksaw. Zoton, how are you doing? I'm not going to cut myself in half. Don't worry. Don't worry. What I am going to do is I'm going to put this straight back in this box so that I don't cut the hand off myself. Sharp side down. I'm going to put everything else back in here. Oh, also it's got this if you want to do fancy little patterns in your icing, which I'm sure there's other ways to do it, but you know, it's, it's handy. It's nice. Nice. Ikea branded bone saw. That's it. That's it. That's all we need. Right. So, yeah, two things to... Oh, no, no. I got a rolling pin. Hang on. I'll put these over. Meef, will you look after these for me? He said nothing. I'm going to assume that he might try and kill me in a minute. Oh, who's that? Mochi Moss has redeemed a shark close-up. Food for thought is Satan with vegan Satanist worship. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Well, you know what's very important to know? What's very important to know is that Mochi Moss has redeemed one close-up of shark. Here he is. He's here. Here he's here. If you've never had a shark close-up before, exclamation mark, hug shark. Give him a hug. Do it, do it, give him a hug, big hug. Now, let's get you sit down. Let's get you comfortable. There we go. Now. Now. Sharkism as our religion. Well, as we learned last night, um, the people of Egypt were very happy to adopt Davism. So, you know, that's a whole thing that we know now. That's a whole thing that we know. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Guys, we're getting a nor'easter a nor'easter tomorrow. I'm about to be buried in 14 inches of snow. I, I don't know what nor'easter is, but I, I assume it's like a big storm. Big storm. Why is it called a massage table and not a comfort table? Oh, a com comfortable. I don't know. I, don't, I, co I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Oh, my goodness. Victoria! Oh my goodness! Victoria, how are you keeping? Come in, come in. Are you well? Are you very well? Is Aladdin the house today? No, so we have no... I don't know if we'll do a spooky scary prediction because McDara's not home today and I don't know if he'll be home before I finish stream. We could do a prediction anyway. But, you know, the chances are low. Big stakes. The stakes are high. Maybe that's more enticing for people. I don't know. Maybe that's much more enticing for people. Oh my goodness. A nor'easter, oh, is an east coast, or an east coast low is a synoptic scale extra tropical cyclone in the western North Atlantic Ocean. The name derives from the direction of the winds that blow from the northeast. Oh. Hmm. 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 Now I know. Now I know. Low chance means high payoff. That's true. If low chance, high payoff, you know, it could work out okay for some people. It could work out very okay for some people. I don't know who the some people are, but it could work out all right for you. Aesthetic, hello. We're expecting 18 or more inches here just north of Boston. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's... I had a dream the other night that um, it snowed and it was... Now, it was maybe four inches of snow, which is quite a lot for here. Like, the... I don't know how much four inches is, but about that much snow. Not not a big, big, big million load of it, but more than you would ever expect here. And I don't remember anything else in the dream. I just remember it snowing. Walker Pierce, hello, and Eslin, hello. Galway goes to the prediction of what? So, oh, excuse me. For anybody who's new to the channel or who hasn't been here in a while, I'm very easily scared. Now, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I, I hold it pretty well, but every so often, 
Magdara, my, my partner, will walk into the room complete like not he won't walk in like he, he's not gonna he doesn't come in like ah i scared you he'll literally just walk in quietly and stand and i'll turn around and i won't know he's there and i will screech because i get a fright and it is genuine i do not act this because i would annoy myself if i did but he's not home today so i don't think i i think i'm safe but if you want to risk your points by all means risk your points adri hello how are you doing are you very very you never witnessed this oh god i think a lot a lot more people than have ever watched the stream have witnessed this i'd say because twitch uk in ireland their twitter um they took one of the clips and it wasn't a compilation of people it was one clip just me that was the feature that they put up on their twitter just me getting scared by mcdara while i was like i was rummaging around in this press and he's just standing here like not doing anything just stand and i turn around i just go ah! and that's it that's it so that's that's a lot of people's only knowledge of me i don't know how i feel about that i don't know how i feel about that at all Oh, oh, Vent Sketches says I'm risking my points. Let's go! Let's go, let's go. Um, my sister's like, that says Adri, when anyone goes into the kitchen, they have to loudly announce their pending presence. And like, I have tried so hard to train myself out, but it kind of gets worse, so I don't know. Alex Burb says, can I have a hug? I had a phone call on the anxiety. Can we get a little goodness for Alex Burb? A little, a little bit of goodness. Do you not hear the door open? Oh, Lesh, hello. I don't hear the door open, and I'll tell you why. Because there's no little, like, there's no, what do you call it, like, mechanism there's no latch on this door it's just like it's just it's just like this it's not a swinging door like it's not weighted like you can put it like that and it'll stay or not weighted but it doesn't have like a thing to close it automatically but you can open this door without making any noise it doesn't have like a functioning handle that handle is for decoration and for i suppose pulling it in but you know and go we go says my brothers and i are silent walkers so that happens a lot with us especially our mom Oh no. See, I think I've done that to people quite a lot as well because in the house I grew up in, where my mom, like my mom's house, the walls are really, really thin. The walls are super thin. And if I, like literally, if I stand up out of bed and walk like, not, not like barge or anything, just like walk like this, you can hear it downstairs. Like it's really like thin council estate walls kind of thing and floors and everything. So I got used to trying to walk kind of on my toes, trying to be like as quiet as possible all the time, just so I wouldn't, you know, be bothering my mom or whatever. So then I end up scaring people because I walk quietly. <laughs> Toby, hello! Zoe, how are you keeping? When and when's your flight? When are you going new? When are you going new? Are you very well? I hope you are. Molasic sounds like it's <laughs> you need to attach a bell to ignore. No, he like he does actually make a big effort a lot of the time to not scare me. Like, especially after because at least on stream we can get a little laugh out of it. And I'm kind of like I'm a little bit prepared for it, but the rest of the time, like he does kind of go out of his way to be particularly careful. He's he's very good. He's very good. Um, Bloody Pinata says, lads, it's my stag slash bachelor party tomorrow. My sister, best man, is taking me to Galway. Pretty anxious, send good vibes. Oh, it's, I, I really hope you have a lovely time. I hope you have a, a really fun, fun time. Make a lot of memories. Can we get goodness from Bloody Pinata? I hope you have a lovely time. I hope you go safely pure mad. But, you know, that just sounds, that just sounds like it'll be a good time. A real good time. <laughs> this is my best. I'm imagining him stomping around the house all the time. It's not scary. But this problem is... He has the same kind of thing where when he was growing up, he was like, oh, I don't want to make noise. So he does actually walk quite light footed. Like if I hear him walking in the house, I know he's just in a rush. Like I usually know that he's he's like running to do something really quickly before he has to run back to something else. Like that's the only time I ever hear him actually walking around or unless he's coming up the hallway to show me a meme and he's like, you're never going to believe this, you know? <laughs> Oh goodness, Ader says my house is very small, so if anyone gives any does anything at all, it's basically a given that the entire house will hear it, at least to a degree. Oh, such a pain. Oh my goodness. French fries, good afternoon. How, how are you? Because this has been a nice week. We have a lot to do next week. Sorry, I said that. Oh my God, there's a midgy. There's a, t I can see there's like a little midgy right there. No. I'll get that later. I'll get that later. Oh, Django Ice, hello. And French fries has redeemed teach chat a random Irish word. What a way. What a way to kick off the day. I'm gonna get you a random Irish word. I'm gonna get you one. I gotta get the book. The book. 
Oh, where's the book? Here's the book. You've been going wild for the Irish words recently. What's a midgey? You know those teeny, teeny, tiny... I don't think it was actually a midgey, I think it was fruit fly. You know the tiny, tiny little flies that come out in the evening in the summer and they bite you? Those. What's a midgey? The worst! Oh my goodness. Um, French fry says I love me some new Irish words that I'll never get to spell properly when I meet an Irish person. It's okay, they won't judge you too much for it. And if they do, then they're probably an arsehole. So, with that, you know the drill. Say when. Say when. Is, yeah, this is the third time recently that I've explained what Mijis are. Just eat us hello when. I am going to teach you. I'm going to teach you the Irish word for in Silico. Hello. I feel like Mijis must be a thing elsewhere. Like I, I, I can't think of any other. I can't think of any reason that they wouldn't be. Maybe we just have the exact perfect climate for them, I don't know. Tobin says, I expect to be fluent in Irish by Sunday. Okay, so... If I have a single drink, I will talk to you exclusively in Irish if you even suggest the idea to me. And you will be horrified because you will not understand me and I will not stop. <laughs> oh god, I will not stop. I'm gonna teach you the Irish word for... Oh! Have I ever taught you the Irish word for hen? Like a chicken. Like a hen, a hen chicken, you know what I mean? Astral swing, hello, it sounds the best way to learn. Honestly, it is a very good way to learn languages. Hen. You don't have any of your notes? Oh, french fries been taking notes. I'm gonna teach you the Irish word for hen. Also, I love this piece of music. This is a nice, easy one. There's probably, again, a better way to spell this phonetically. The Irish word for hen... I, I always doubt myself in spelling. It's like it's best to can. Is kirk. Kirk. Say it back to me. Kirk. No time for this today says, are you fluent? Are you a fluent Irish speaker? I... Am, but I have no faith in my own fluency because I've been out of education for a while and I don't get many opportunities to speak Irish, like, and have conversations Osgoelago with people. So, it's in there, but I doubt myself regularly. <laughs> Kjark. Kjark. It's going to Kjark. No, not Cork. Kjark. Kjark. You see, I'd say Kjark, but it's one syllable. It is one singular syllable. It's Kjark. Kjark. It's not Kiark. It's not Cork. Kiark. Ki it does kind of sound. Kiark. Kiark. Or, you know, in some places, probably Kirk. I don't hate Cork! Why does everybody think I hate Cork? I don't! There's actually, there's a little, um, there's a little rhyme we learn in school. And I feel, there is, I think it's based on one, uh, it's the same kind of ideas. There's one in English, it's like, something, something, my brown hen, I don't know. I don't know. So it's, Googly gog ma kherkin dov, si and she she is bear and she ov. Ov in ye is ov in yov, googly gog ma kherkin dov. Now. Now. <gasps> Apples, hello! I must pause the music. Apples, I will, I will honor that in one minute. For anyone who's not been here before, or witnessed the learning of a new Irish word. This has become tradition, and I do not know why, but we're, we're going. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready? Adovan, are you ready? I'm gonna do it like a little, whoop. no, I'm not gonna flip it because I don't want to like actually damage it. Now. That's me sealing the knowledge into your brain. It's a slap because it's a tile floor. <laughs> French fries, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Someday I'll panic in Ireland and say something like Shintarakoya and be seen like a total maniac. He said Tarakor okay, actually. Shkian not so much, but he said Tarakor all right, I think. Thank you for the bits. Shkian, you're like, you're in a, you're in like, 
you're, you're somewhere and someone comes up to you and they're like, what's wrong with you? And they're like, shki and tarakor, ah, karok, ah. All right, let me put this in here. There we go. Oh, we have a shark close. Hang on, what am I doing? Mikey Horror, hello. It was, it was a sharp thunk. Tobin says, I was just saying, the book really slaps hurts. <laughs> oh, because Steel Wolf, hello. One, don't really speak Irish. You sing it. And say, it is a very musical language, honestly. It's a very, very musical language. I'm, I'm guessing that's a De Valderhurst dictionary. Oh, it, it's, I think, I think it's an O'Don. I, I think it is. I don't know. I'll have to check in one second for you. We have a shark closer from Apples to everybody who needs a little shark. Right now. Right now. Some, some shark. A little goodness for you and you and you. For everybody. He's here. He's keeping an eye on you. He wants you to recite two words that you've learned with a scene. Can you think of two words in Irish that I've taught you that aren't the one I, we just taught you and that isn't cow rock? And that isn't terracor or skiin? Or skiin? I can't even say things right anymore. Boss is boss. Ah, oh, Sasha, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud. You remember gay? Very good. You have to, rem you have to remember gay. Lachin, lachin, gay, you know? Fuckle, anawa. Merlin! I forgot I taught you Merlin. I like that word. I think it's very sweet. Oh, goodness. Schnachte, very good. Changa, spare. Gay as in be gay, do crime. I'm, I'm glad we've all remembered that one. Don't you slaint me. Don't you come in here with your slaint. I, I cannot believe this. I can't remember the spelling, but mother of suck. Oh, maher mor huig. That's, that's fair. That's, that, that's fair. What's that, like? I think it's giant squid. Is it giant squid? Shunok, very good. And Shunok can also be Madrua. Very good. I'm, I'm so proud. Aron Anawarfad. You heard me. You heard me. It sounds normal otherwise. <laughs> oh, goodness. Jenna's brain hasn't maintained it. It's okay. It's okay. Patty, hello. It's going along well. And Deus welcome in. Are we all very well? Lovey bun, don't even worry. Don't even worry. Um, Gawi Ghost says, I've forgotten a distressing amount of my Irish, but what I find, and with any language, once you start speaking it again, or reading it, or consuming media in that language, you surprise yourself with how much you actually remember. You, you, remember, you, you remember a lot more than you think you can. It's like, I always say, oh, I don't remember any French from school. If I listen to somebody speaking French for like two or three minutes, I start to tune into the words and I start to actually understand quite a lot of what they're saying unless they're talking about like if they're using very big fancy words then i probably not but i can usually get like the gist of what someone's saying um bloop floof bloop hello uchtaroche is ice cream it is it is i'm very proud and the alchemist hello bonjour okay comment ça va ça va bien et toi I, I could never pronounce French properly. That was a big downfall for me. <gasps> Robert, you were the first person to notice that I'd forgotten today. And I, I had genu it was a genuine forget. Like I, I didn't, because I was st standing here at 10 to one, nothing was ready, nothing was prepared, nothing was set up. So I just ran around and it did everything in one big sweep. And I actually did not place the beans back on the table. We don't test me like this. TTS, but I think, did a very good job of that, all things considered. They weren't the first notice, but the first notice that you noticed. Oh. I'm just gonna put them there. We. The light switch looks like it's part of the door. Oh, I, I mean, half the house is part of the door. It does look like somebody just kind of pressed it into the wall. <laughs> oh, goodness. Patty says, hello, is your name in Irish Cockamillish Gansey? It would be Gansey Cockamillish. No, no, it would be. What's it? Yeah, no, it would be. It would be Gansey Cockamillish. You, you, it's a different word order in Irish. So say like okay. Uh um let's say 
this. This is a, a blue, or it's a green, whatever you want to call it. Blue can. Bluey green. Blue can, all right? So you have the blue and your can. It's the other way around in Irish. So the Irish word, I'm gonna give you some free ones, but I'm not doing Miki Thunk. The Irish word for blue is Gurum, that took me a lot more longer than I should have. And can is stone, or you know, there may be other words. Canna, some people say. But it's stone gurum. The other way around. And there are some exceptions, which is more annoying, and there are some particular use cases, but whatever, 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 whatever. <gasps> Yaris, hello, just made home homemade warm chocolate milk by stirring milk and chocolate into hot milk. I have heard that if you make a hot chocolate and put a square of your favorite chocolate in, it melts down. It's great. It's great. Potatoes in my eyes. Hello. How are you doing? Are you very well? Um, Bloop says, will you, buy, will you buy curried chickpeas? Maybe someday. And cause not cheap, hello. Use case are always the worst. It's like, well, in this particular case, if you were, if you were standing in this particular spot in the, actually, do you want to see something distressing? And then we're going to start cooking. Have you ever seen the map of how to say directions in Irish? Hang on. Hang on. Irish directions map. Wait, I'm going to see if I can find this. It is so incredibly... It's not complicated once you force yourself to learn it, but it is kind of... It's kind of rush. Rough, not rush. Let's see, I'm, I'm trying to find a little map for it, because you're, you're going to be in pain. Where is it? Where is it? I know I can find... I just want, like, a little... Hang on. Egg chocked anuus. I'm going to find this. Oh, who's that? Sisterling! Hello! Thank you for 15 months! <laughs> and apples! That's, that's pretty good. Thank you for 100 bits. That's, that's pretty good. Tase agayari na in cake you knife. According to Google, that's how to say it in Irish. Honestly, Google Google was more or less correct. Oof, hello, how are you doing? Are you very well? Let me show you. Okay, so. <clears throat> okay. When you can't, so there's more than one word for up and down. If you were going up to somewhere, you were, it's, it, oh God, hang on. I actually don't know if I can explain this. Hang on, hang on. So you've got a chart, okay? So in English, if you're going up, you're going up. This is, if the target is above origin, this is the target below origin. This is very straightforward in English, okay? Motion is from origin to target, okay? Okay? Okay, we, we, we are right about that? There are extra ways to explain this in Irish. Also, Okay, I'm trying to think of a simple way to explain this, but I don't want to explain it in two. Yeah, ascending, we use the words ascending and descending in Irish a lot more than you really expect. And I don't know why! Actually, I do know why. And my theory is that because Irish as a language has not got the same kind of, how do I explain it? Colloquialism? That's not the word I'm looking for. You know the way I, English is spoken so much that it kind of breaks down a little bit. Irish hasn't really had that in the same way. So we still have a lot of words like that. And we still say a lot of things like that. And you will get marked down in school if you say them wrong. <laughs> oh, goodness. No, I, 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 I... It's... I speak Irish and it confuses me. I just skip over it to be honest because I think if you if you want to point something out like that to someone you're like you're wrong then you can leave. <laughs> Corvus hello and Sally hello. I know some of you hello. How are you doing? Mouse Pouse and Lawrence lovely. Are we all very well? Do we want to start on the stew? Do we all start on the stew? Yeah, I, literally the Irish didn't get the chance to evolve in the same way. Evolve was actually the word I was looking for. So you know, when we had the revival of the Irish language, like nationwide, if you like, it was taught in a very rigid way in the in the beginning. And there is, I think French has the same thing. Not maybe not the exact same, but there is a standard of Irish. There is the kaidon, and all exams, pretty much all exams, are, you know, marked according to an kaidon. And it is a nightmare because people do not speak Irish the way it is written out in the Kaidon. It's just, it's not spoken like that. Anyway, anyway. 
Anyway, we have things to do. We have many things to do. So many things to do. Oh. Orna, hello, Deev. Sauce to... Sauce to Dehina. Dehina Sona? Dehina Sona. I think. Dehina Hona? Deagwit, most importantly. We have things to do. We have vegetables to get ready. I have my little vegetable cart here. It's the best I can do. You did great. You did great. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. Hakuna Matata. Kuro, hello. I just got my first ever game over in Death Stranding after 20 hours of playtime and a big boss battle by falling into a small river and accidentally losing a crucial item. Oh no, I'm so sorry. Oh my god, no. No! Adobe says I have cake on one screen and two on the other. It's a good way to live. Oh, Toy Baobo, hello. Dutch has two different words for on. Um, on the table and on the wall are two different on. Dutch are better at remembering where things are in a space. That's that's kind of interesting, actually. One last one, cake like Gian Ortgon, dear say say a Rudgren Vachan praise each we in Emlays Nardinia Gangage. I was trying to read that to understand and listen at the same time. Hang on, hang on. Ligan Erk and Nershe Rudgren were compressed at the end of Leshnadini Congelgach. Apples, you're, you're a gas, you're a gas one, you are. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I might have to give away your secret or we're both gonna look like fools. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Um, Sally says there have been Insta accounts popping up trying to promote the Irish language. I love it, except they're guilty of the worst bear lacus. Yeah, I don't like bear lacus. I think there is a middle ground between using bear lacus and like adhering strictly to the kaidon, you know? I think there is a sweet spot in the middle and I, I don't know if everybody else agrees, but you know. Bear lacus, for anyone who would not be familiar, is like loan words from English. And you know, in moderation, I think that can be okay, but when we already have a a word for something it doesn't make any sense to have a new loan word you know like you know I still feel one of them tried to translate nighty night directly and they unironically posted ee he ee he ee he 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 I I can't I can't I mean it's great that they're promoting it but it that's not even easy to say if it was something easy and catchy and kind of fun or whatever, like that would that would make fine sense. Okay, I gotta get a start on this. I've been sitting here doing nothing for like a full hour. So we're going to prepare the chicken last because that will be going on the pan first and I don't want to have chicken sitting around. I, I hope that, I would assume that was fairly self-explanatory but just in case it's not. And I'm going to, I know this sounds mad, but I just want to make sure I don't end up with too much to put in the pot. I don't want to end up with too much going into the pot, you know? Miku, hello. In German, handy means cell phone. We kind of already have a word for it. However, it's mobile to phone, so it's a bit longer. See, we have similar things in Irish where the... I, I used to get so hung up on this when I was a child. Like, literally, I was four or five years of age, and I knew that the Irish word for car was glushton. I knew it. It was glushton, and I was very confident I had been taught this before I went to school. And then I get to school and they try and teach me car. And out of anger, I was four, year, maybe four or five years of age and I would relentlessly type, write out Glushton, which is a longer word, but I, it's a nicer, I think it's a nice word. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Um, Corvus says my favorite English word is defenestration, which means literally means to put one through it. I love, I love the word defenestration, and every time I remember that it exists, it makes me happy. So thank you for that, Corvus. It's so good. It's the principle of the thing, exactly. Like it's, it's not even. I'm not trying to be snotty about it. I'm just like we have a word. We have a word already. Glushton also makes sense. It's a very. We have a lot of really self-explanatory words in Irish. Like, do you want to know? Okay, we're getting a few free, free fuckles today, but you know. Do you know the Irish word for velocity? Velocity in Irish is trolluus. Literally, direction speed. It is a, it, it's so direct and simple. Now we, we didn't, we, we didn't take velocity as a loan word. Like trolluus is what's used. That is the Irish word for velocity. And it's not, you can throw Lewis if you want, but. <laughs> I'm just grabbing the recipe here so I can have it next to me. I, I promise I'm not being pig ignorant, but 
Physics is honestly like a lot of people are like, how did you ever do all of your schooling through Irish? A lot of it is a lot easier, particularly things like physics. Some biology is kind of straightforward because a lot of the words are just really simple. Like they just make sense. They just make, it just makes sense. It just works. We need, oh God, wait, three carrots. I'm going to actually go for three bigger carrots. Now I can close this. And Caitlin says, one of my favorite words I had to spell in school was floxenhilification. The act of judging something is useless. Isn't there a, oh no, I don't, I don't know if it's the same, but I, that, that reminds me of, there's a comic that, I can't remember the name of the comic. If you remember Selfie B from many years ago, that's what's reminding me of. I'm just gonna get the peeler. Yeah, they did some HP comics, but they most what I remember is they did the Selfie B comics, which is like, you know, the the one like the I am a beacon of sin. You know that one? Uh, one of you knows. <laughs> Where's the peeler? Where'd I put it? It is a, it's, it's a specifically different color to everything else. I don't know how I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. There we go, there we go. <laughs> there we go. That's the artist. That's the very, very one. That's the artist. Sorry, not the name of the comic. It's a, it's a different word, I think. I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, I played a barbarian in D&D and he likes to think he was able to cast magic. His favorite spell to cast was Defenestrate. That's amazing. That's so, so good. My professor explained what average velocity is by saying average velocity is average velocity. Yeah, no, that, so that sounds about right. That sounds about right. The French speakers in Canada says, don't like the fact that the French and France use some English words. So they have made up their own French words for some items. Isn't there like a very strict thing in like the French speaking parts of Canada where like everything has to be either dual language or it has to have, it has to be in French like primarily or only because I really I remember um there was like a Korean I think it was a Korean skincare brand opened a shop somewhere in the French French speaking part of um Canada and they like they had to translate the name because it's called the face shop or something like that they had to actually translate the name of the shop because they're like no this is in English you can't put this in English but like it's the name of the shop so they had to they had to change it to French. I don't know if it's still that way, but this was a couple of years ago, like maybe five, six years ago or so. Here it is, everything has to be dual language. In Quebec, the French comes first, the rest of Canada is English first. Like, I do like that in, in a way. I, I don't know what it's like maybe to live with it, but like we have, um, we have dual language on pretty much everything. Now it's, it's not as, Intense, but like on pretty much every single street sign, you will see it's English first and then Irish, which, you know. But what I really like is if you've ever seen a dual language sign in Wales, what you'll notice is you see the English first, like I think the English might be on top, but you get the Welsh below in a different color, but the font is the same size. And that is a really, really important point because while you might get one or the other language first, they are both treated very similarly and like in at least this context. And one thing that kind of puts me off, well, not puts me off, but one thing that kind of irks me in on, like sure we have Irish on our street signs, but it's like in a little, little italics, like maybe two thirds the size of the rest of the text. So I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't like to be like, oh, it's better than nothing, but you know, you know. Speaking of languages, I saw a job listing for a tech support role, Osquelga, except it's in Athens. I might be tempted, that would actually be really cool. Tech support, Osquelga, so Greg, I mean, great food, a bit of sunshine. Not to, not to simplify it or anything, but you know, that actually sounds really cool. <gasps> Atherados, hello! Why is this tearing chunks out of this? What's going on? Oh my God, wait, this carrot getting stuck in the, oh no. Oh no, maybe this isn't, maybe I've overworked the peeler, hang on. Do you want to see what's happened to this peeler? Give me a second, give me a second. We'll get back to languages in a second. Uh, the peeler is kind of split. So this is the front of it. This is where you do the peely peel. Do you see the problem here? It's like wedged itself in. Now, it doesn't seem to be broken as such, but uh, you might have to give me a second. I'm gonna see if I can get this out. <laughs> the carrot won. Give me a sec. Let's see if we can fix this. 
very carefully as well. Please get out. Please get out. Please get out of my peeler. Please get out of my peeler. Please, I, I don't want to have to use, like, a knife. I don't mind, but I'd rather not. <sighs> I just run a bit of water on it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright. Might be okay now. I think, like, a small bit got in there and it, like, bent the whole thing, so I just, like, it was just chopping this off nearly. I hereby welcome our new carrot overlords. Mr. Magical Spoonji, where are you keeping? Oh, no, this is... Have you ever seen the likes of this in your life? Ever in your life, even one time. Look at the state of this. I feel like that's not how peelers are supposed to work. It's a carrot holder! Oh, of course. How could I how could I make the mistake? Easy the penguin! Once I have these carries carries? Carrots looked after, we will have a close-up of shark. I'm just afraid to Look at the state of this poor carrot. Alright, that's it. I'm gonna have to just get I'll just have to get the peely knife. Cosmo, thank you for the be <laughs> oh Peely Steely Automobile. Peely Steely Automobile. Maybe I should never have abandoned these ways. I don't really like doing carrots like this. I wouldn't normally peel a carrot in this really awful way, but, you know. Take that to your stream, just shaking the carrot, that's all we do. Just shaking the carrot, leading the people along into absolute madness. I wouldn't normally, you see, I wouldn't normally peel a carrot, but these ones, you know, sometimes you get them, they look all a bit All hail the crusty. carrot king that will not be defeated. Oh, thank you for the bits, Adobin. Normally, I would not peel a carrot, but the last few times I've gotten them from the shop, there's... I, I don't know, there's something just a bit... Yeah, they're, they're not so much thick skin. Like, I don't really mind that so much, but... How do I explain it? They just look like they've been sitting there, I think, is the only thing I can... The way the only way I can think to explain it. They just look like they've, they've been sitting there for maybe a few minutes too long. No, they're not hairy! They're not hairy carrots, by any means. You know. Okay, you're having- you're playing with fire, having a knife this close to- Oh god, you're right. Let me go over there. This can all go in here. All go in here. How many cards do you have to peel? Only, it was only the three, so it is- it, it conked out, as it were, on the last carrot, so it's all okay. It's all worked out okay. I do- I prefer leaving the skin on carrots most of the time. Oh god, I'll have to give this, like, a burial. I must try and get a decent vegetable peeler, because most of the time I don't really mind- I don't- mind I don't mind peeling carrots or any vegetables that I would peel but you know pure effort pure effort just use teeth actually I was thinking because I got I got some nice spuds actually I don't know how nice they are but they looked kind of nice and I've half a mind to just give them a good wash and cut them up and leave the skin on for in the stew because I think it would actually be quite nice I think it'd be all right I know I don't know maybe I'm wrong um, Cake, I sent you a total CSI Miami one with the baby hat. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to go see. Oh, how's how's your whole gang getting on? And Lando, hello, been lurking for some time on mobile because I was out. I hope you were having a good lurk and it's lovely to have you in. How are you keeping? Old school peelers. Knives. Yeah, potato skins and stew I think are really, really nice. Okay, hands in the air. I, I, won't, I will not judge anybody. Who likes potato skin? Who eats the potato peel? Hands in the air. You will all survive the winter. You are all strong. You are all strong. These sad cars, they're skating. I know, I'm so sorry. Lord Secret Spy, how are you keeping though? Hello, hello, hello. Only outside the stews, I can respect that. Deep fried skins are very good though. If, if you, 
How do you this? If you like the idea of not wasting it, but it's a bit of a sensory one for you, or you don't like it, try putting them. Actually, we could. I could do this today. Will I show you what I often do if for some reason I'm peeling spuds? Because the skins on these actually look quite nice. What I normally do is, if I'm peeling them, I make sure the skins are nice and clean, and I I then dry them with a bit of kitchen paper. I make sure it's not too thick either. I put a little salt and pepper, whatever else I want on them, and shake them all around. Little bit of, do I put a little bit? I put a little bit of olive oil. Shake it all around. Throw them on a sheet pan. Throw them in the oven for a while until they get crispy, and it is good. It's good because I do them in like little little bits, and I'll show you. You know what? We might do that. What do we think? Do we want to try that? I'll show you how I do it. I haven't done it in a while, because I mostly do leave the skins on the spuds unless I'm mashing them or whatever. And even then, to be honest, I kind of like a little... I don't mind a little... If it's not super creamy mash, like a little bit of skin's kind of cool, but... You know. We feel in it. Oh, and in other news! Hello, loving your cooking streams! Hello! Uh, you're very kind. I hope you're having a fine and good Friday of yourself. Now, I know that this is Lazy Boy No Chew Stew. You will have to chew this stew. I'm sorry to break it to you, but I promise it'll be worth chewing. Now, admittedly, there's not much chewing involved other than the chicken. If you're leaving out the chicken, the chicken, the chicken, then even less so, because the, I do like to let the vegetables get quite soft. Soft and good. The Lady says, I forgot to tell, but I made the garlic potato soup and it's indeed very good. It's so good. So good. You can't go wrong. Oh, we do, we're putting garlic in this, actually. You can't go wrong with a bit of garlic. I mean, you can, if you rub it in your eyeballs, probably, but look. Maybe in the 14th century they thought that was great medicine. Who knows? <laughs> don't rub garlic in your eyes. Please don't do it. Oh, boo, blend it up. If you want to blend it up, then you do it. You do it. Yon says, cake, but you need to ask, do stream elements have a dedicated setting for weekday category depending on the cheers, or do you have to mess with it more in depth? Can I tell you a secret? I'm still using Streamlabs on the laptop. So all I did was I disabled the Streamlabs um, cheer because I've exported everything else to Stream Elements to use for the rest of the week. So it means that I never have to disable the jump scare alert because it's always disabled for Fridays. I think it's pretty clever, honestly. I did it by accident the first week and I was like, oh, you know what? Maybe this is actually not a terrible idea and I'll just leave it like that. Because if I start messing around with audio devices and putting new broadcast software on this laptop, I think it will literally melt. It will literally melt into a puddle, this poor thing. It's, it, it, it's doing fine, and I will use it until it stops working. But, you know, do fine. Ah, sickening if it works, it works. No, to be honest, it's not that sickening. Like, it's, it's completely, it's, it's all right. So I still cannot, I, I cannot close the laptop. Like I can't physically close it. And I can't, there's no way to repair the hinge anymore. It sits like this. I have to leave the laptop sitting like this, sitting open on the kitchen table during the week because I don't have anywhere else to safely put it since it stopped being able to close. Cassio M, hello, I made the bread that you made last week. It's so good, yes, I'm so glad. Did you leave it in the oven a little longer than I did? Because that was the only mistake I felt I made because it was still a little bit, a little bit doughy, a little bit soft in the middle. Like not, not bread soft, but a little bit, you know, I don't know what is, but you, you, you get me, <laughs> you understand. But yeah, I'm, I, oh God, I, I remember the last time somebody tried to close and I feel so bad, but it was, it was after the, co the, uh, the compost stream, um, myself and Dan were cleaning up and he tried to close Check it and I'm like, here no! to procure funding for my revolutionary <laughs> carrot peeling machine, put some knives on the end of a barrel of a shotgun so as the <laughs> carrot comes out it gets peeled, I call it American Peeler, so can I put you down for funding us with five million dollars? <laughs> no! Oh god! Oh, I'm alright. I'm alright. Thank you for the bits, apples. Oh my god, do you know what that reminds me of? Do you remember the episode of Ed, Ed and Eddie? Where, um, where Ed gets a job, and the job is peeling spuds in, like, Rolf's place, or there's something, something like that. And, yeah, I think that was pretty much it. And he's there, he's like, how do we peel the spud? And they end up making a machine that peels the spuds launches them through a tennis racket to like make them into chips and they just have this pile of chips and they're like, 
<laughs> I thought it was funny anyway. Where am I doing? Spuds! Hang on. Spuds. It's Ari, hello! We are actually, we are, we are starting the cooking, can you imagine? And we're on with Twitch, hello! How are you doing? Lovely to see everybody. Inventors of spirit. Oh, goodness. Does anyone know which episode the stew is? It's from the first film. Pokemon the first movie. Mewtwo Strikes Back. That's the one. Now, do you want to see these fine spuds? They've even got the dirt from the actual earth on them. That's a... That's how you know they're good. Dirt from the actual earth. Look, this could be like a product photo for a bag of spuds. Here, do you want some spud dirt? Who's that? Oh, Debsy, hello! Thank you for 21 months. We are starting on it. We're getting some moves. We're getting some grooves. How are you doing, Debsy? Do you want some spud dirt? To be honest, I, sometimes I wonder if they throw a handful of dirt on the spuds to make them look more fresh, but no, that fake dirt. They're, they're good. They're, they're kind of small spuds, but I mean, they're, they're a good size. Can we get some jelly filled donuts? Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. Actually, someday I should start a... Is that your man, Spudsley? <laughs> he's a nice lad. Ah, he's a good lad, really. Someday I should do a food and drink stream and title it Jelly Filled Donuts and just deadpan, completely deadpan, make onigiri. Just completely deadpan and like call them jelly donuts the whole way through. Because you know, you know there will be, despite it being a very widely known meme, there will be one person who will come in and be like... You're an idiot! You know, there'll be one person and I will, that will keep me going for weeks. <laughs> that will keep me going for weeks and weeks. And Sally says, I'm convinced they washed the spots and put the dirt back on them. Because in Lidl, there's baby potatoes and organic baby potatoes. And they're exactly the same, except the organic ones are covered in muck. One, okay, I need to tell you something. I bought the organic labeled spuds today, not because they're organic, because... But because they were cheaper. It was a euro for a bag of uh, two kilos of organic spuds. And they look the exact same as the other spuds, just with a good extra dirt. I honestly think we could be onto something here. We're onto something. We're onto something. I'm gonna give them a little wash to get the dirt back off them now. It's relentless, lads. If you get spuds in, oh, you know the only, the only time I believe the dirt on the spuds is you know when you get the big, like the, the five or ten kilo like paper bags of spuds. That's the only time that I believe that the the dirt might be genuine on them. There's something about those bags of spuds that, you know, makes me feel like I'm at home. Maybe I should pick up a big, massive bag of spuds. Just a huge bag of spuds. Big, massive, enormous paper bag of spuds. With the thread across the top and you rip it. I didn't know that you were supposed to open those bags by the thread for years. You just grab it and you just rip it across. I felt like a fool. I never knew. I never knew. I am running so much water here. Okay. Done. Done. Red E to go. Oh, Kova, hello! How are you doing? How are you getting on? And um, Debbie says, I will pay not to have dirty potatoes. I don't have time, patience, or the want to wash them myself. That is completely fair, honestly. That is 100%. You can get fake mud and dirt to make it look like you car off-road, even though you've never seen a living sheep in your life. Yeah, no, that, that sounds about right. I didn't know until now. We still ripped it at home. Really, if you get the, if you get the bag, you can just... It, like, because you get the thread, it's it's like, it's sewn in across the top of the paper bag. And if you grab that and just give it one almighty, whoop, it should just take the top off the bag. Should. Maybe some of them are not like that, but should. Should is the word here. Strawberry Alchemy says, I always hate it when people get those big bags of spuds because they're always so heavy to get through check it. Oh no, they are they're so, they are very, very heavy. You're just like, <laughs> What's it doing? I need another bowl, because I'm gonna get a fancy bowl so that I don't throw this out by accident, because I do want to do these potato peels to show you. The dirt on the potatoes, it's like seasoning. Ah, yes, the, the spicy dirt. Scarf, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> um, take one, sis, I've some spuds that are starting to sprout. I'm tired of them having nothing but boiled, I'm tired of them after having nothing but boiled potatoes for weeks. 
Oh goodness, no, you wouldn't be well. Do you know what I realised I still have in the fridge? Hang on, where is it? Is this still in date? God, I hope it is. Oh, it is! I still have duck fat from the Christmas stream and it is still in date and apparently it's good until May 2023. So I might make some roast potatoes sometime soon. Roast buds. Oh wait, hang on, hang on, I'm just catching up. Um, Harry says this is a real thing, the, the dirt to spray on cars. I saw someone in the basement car park of my flats spraying on dirt. The shame in the guy's eyes for getting caught. Oh my God, that's, that's so strange. Presumably if unopened, I mean, it's been closed since. Maybe we'll get it away. <laughs> well, we get away with it. Potato on Crime says, I work at a as a cashier and I can tell you I'm grateful for customers that just lift them up so I can beat the barcode instead of putting them on the belt. I feel like most people do that, but, but. There's always, there's always a few. There's always a few. Now, you get a fine skin. Yeah, fine skin. Forzy, hello. If you add cornstarch to curry, it becomes a stew. On December yeah. 26, 1882, there was a patent for the most American mouse trap ever. It's what? just a revolver that shoots when a mouse triggers it. <laughs> ah! I've seen that paint. I've never heard of this before. Oh my god. I, I'm also not really surprised. Taito goes, so do you think dirt can have different flavors because you can have more or less acidic dirt? I mean, you probably can have different flavors of dirt. Maybe, probably, perhaps. Does some, no, don't go out and eat dirt and report back. I already regret that and I didn't even say it yet. You'd think that, but no, people put them on the belt and I've just suffered to find the side of the barcode. Oh no, oh no. That's no way to live. That's no way to be treated. Please always be nice to retail stuff. <gasps> Ice Dragon says, I finally caught a live. Welcome in, how are you keeping? And Pebbles, thank you very much for four months. How are you keeping? Are you very, very well? Are we eating rocks and dirt now? If you want to eat dirt, I didn't tell you to do it. I didn't tell you to do it. <gasps> and Sweetie Soros, thank you very much for seven months. How it flies by, how are you doing? Do you not have a little, we, there, there are scan guns, but a lot of places don't have the gun. They just have like the, the, the little beep, beep, or sometimes the, the little scanny thing only has a small little um, um, cable, cord, whatever you want to call it. Do you know? Um, Griff says, given the color of certain flowers like hydrangeas, hydrangeas change color depending on the pH of the soil. You can't change your mind that it tastes different to them. I mean, if anybody wants to try, I didn't tell you to taste it. I didn't tell you to taste the dirt. Oh, Beth, hello, jumping in before I get to work. Hello. How are you keeping? Are you very, very well? I try and love the shark. Would you like to give him a hug? Exclamation mark. Hug shark. He's do he's doing great work over here, I'll tell you something. Look at him go. Look at him go. Speaking of rocks, how long is the P.O. box gonna be open for? It should it's I'm pretty sure it'll be open until April, maybe the end of April. Um, what I've been thinking of, and I'll talk to you, because I, I know that you're, you know, you don't get weird if I talk about stuff like this, but what I've been considering looking into, there's this crowd called Throne. Now the, and what you can do is you can kind of make a wish list. People can suggest things to put on the wish list as well, if you think there's something I should have on there. And it's sort of like an Amazon wish list where you can buy something and send to me. The only thing that I'm not sure about with something like that is it feels not so much impersonal. I don't mean that in a like ungrateful way, but I feel like it's been really nice to receive like letters and little like postcards and stuff like that. So I feel like I've missed that. But depending on how things go with the next while, we might be able to have both. We might be able to keep the PO box open and have that for people who want like, you know, a little more anonymity made for themselves. Do so you can do it anonymously if you so choose or for people who aren't able to go out and physically pick things up and pack them up and whatever, you know, you know. Also, it'll ship from a different place, so I don't know. I um, I'll be up for keeping the PO box goal uh, sub goal for next month. We'll have a little look. We'll see. We can think about it. like it's it's not something I'm I'm not tied to either. And there is a chance we could have both. So and it wouldn't be like too unreasonable. Um, what are you making? Says Ice Dragon. We are making cream stew. It's Lazy Boy No Chew Stew from the first Pokemon film. And it, I've made this before. It is so lovely. So so lovely. Oh my goodness, sorry, hang on, I'm gonna stop during the spuds because we have a shark close that I completely- Sorry, I forgot all about it. I said I'd do it out of the carrots. That water was not very hot. Are we ready for 
a close-up of shark. Are we ready? Boy, me, me, boy. Who is the man in the pole? He's the man with the plan. I don't know what pole you're on about. Do we have a pole ongoing? Shark is here though, if that's any help to you. Give him a little hug. Exclamation mark, hug shark. Because you know what? Shark love you. And you know what? Shark appreciate you. And you know what else? You're worth it. You're good. You're real good. It's true. It's true. And you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna boop you directly on your snoot. Would you do that, Shark? Oh, he'd oh, he do it! He'd do it too! Oh, he'd do it too! Boop. He did it. No fear. Now, we sit you here. Sit you here, comfortable. Gotcha. There we go. Magpie says, looking up water, but it was also almost- Wait, hang on, I missed that. No, almost fun- Oh! <laughs> Exclamation mark, pure filter, oh no. Sometimes the brain does be in several places at once. Come here to me, Dave, what's up with you? What's up with you? Ronan, welcome in, how are you keeping? Now, Dave is no longer being squished. He's okay. He's okay. He's fine. He's well able. He's crap. He'll be fine. Ah. Got it. All right, I'm trying to get the skin off of these spuds in like big bits. Also, um, on the P.O. Box throwing stuff, I can post something over in, um, in the sub area on Discord if we want to chat about it more later on and I, I'd like some input. Like I don't like doing stuff stuff like that without getting some opinions from you. So we can have a little chat about it. Later there's a midgey Oh I got it Oh I have to wash my hands. Goodbye little buddy. Sorry, that life comes at you fast. I didn't actually expect that I would hit it and actually like I got it. Everything's okay now. Now it will bother me no more. Rest in zest. <laughs> no scope slap. <laughs> oh goodness. The Argonite says I think Alfilda's been using the throne. Yeah, Alfilda's been using it, um, Kelly's been using it, and I I, I, I was thinking about it, you know, it just, it, it might be handy for some people, we'll see. We'll see what the thing is, because I, I never like to feel like I'm sitting here like, send me stuff, woo, I want all the stuff, no. I just, I, I know that's something, you know, people did expect, express interest in, so, you know, that's all. Average idiot dev, hello and welcome in, how are you keeping? Um, Sally says, anyone else loved cooking, but only really when there's people to cook for? I'm never bothered to make a whole nice dish for myself because then I'm going to waste. I'm a little bit like that, and that's why I, I like to cook things that I know that McDara will eat, or if I'm baking, I usually try to make things that I can share. Now, I've been very bad at actually remembering to follow up and give things to people the last few weeks. Anyone else? Just getting like a bit of a January slump because I'm coming out of one now and I feel I feel fine. I feel completely all right. But you know, you just get like two weeks in the middle of January. You're just like, uh, and now I'm all right again. I've been getting out walking. I've been eating better. I've been taking me vitamin D again because I, I kind of forgot about that for a little while. Not good. But now I'm feeling okay. But I just got, I kind of got nothing done and I, I wasn't following up on things I was meant to do, you know? But now we're going- Yeah, January lasts for like four years. Oh, no good. It's no good. Holy moly. But we're coming out of it, lads, and the days are getting longer, which is great. It was really, really lovely. It makes a very, very big difference. Soon I won't even have to put on the inside lights for the food and drink streams. Um, Strawberry Alchemy says, I like cooking for me and my partner. I'm trying to make a new dish I've never done each month. I really want to try challenging myself to do something like that because, I, you know, it would broaden my culinary horizons. And, you know, if I try to make something one time and it doesn't turn out great, then that's okay. You never have to make it again. Gotcha. Um, Lady Campfire says, kind of a journey slump from a forever slump. Massive brain. Enormous cranium. <laughs> you poor chicken. 
Um, I'm just kind of getting out of the seasonal depression stuff. It's nice to be able to do things again. Yeah, it's it's like we're... I still think we should be allowed to hibernate. And I think that would solve a lot of our problems. It probably wouldn't, but I like to think of it because that's easier. But it is nice to feel like when... You know when you get that first beam of warm sunlight, like kind of in April or maybe the end of February, and you're just like, yes, yes. Yes! And you know that, like, you know, everything's waking back up. You are properly waking up. It allowed us if humans naturally hibernate, but was out loud. I don't even know if we naturally would have hibernated. Maybe we would. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I wasn't there, okay? <laughs> Sally says, Kale tends to not like vegan food, so do most of my cooking when I visit friends. And you are very good at cooking. I'll tell Can you, I'll I tell introduce you, you to the cursed idea of no. meaty slut? Oh no, I know exactly what that is. Thank you for the bits. There is a patent a filed in 2006, patent 7,108,178 that is a way to stop speeding stolen cars where the police scan a barcode and bullets that are implanted in the tire fire puncturing the tire. America, what, what, why? What? What? Does the EU prohibit hibernating for humans or something? I mean, you know. Cake pretending like she's not an immortal, ageless being. Maybe I am. Yeah, thankfully, just because a patent is filed doesn't mean it's being made. Video, vi video game feelings, I guess. Oh my goodness. We're getting through- I'm, I'm kind of taking my time with these spots because I want to get the skins nice, you know? <laughs> USA! You will say, oh goodness. Oh yes, I was gonna talk up Sally for a minute. Sally makes the best avocado sushi I've ever had in my life. And that's a fact. And I know it's good because I had it more than once and it was good both times. Maybe three times, I don't remember. I still need to try making sushi myself. God, you're cooking, ah, you, you, you cook good food, you do. You do. I'd love to be able to have, like, friends over and, you know, make food. We don't have a lot of space in this house, despite once we had, like, we we're, like, we we're a group of friends doing stuff and we had, like, 25 people in this house. This is, like, you could comfortably have about maybe six people at a push over in this house. I had 25 people in this house and it was, it was carnage. It was absolute carnage. And I don't know if I could ever do that again. <laughs> Um, Zarya Dragon says, there's a group of anarchist engineers who spend time thinking of tech and code ideas that can be very easily used for big evil, then patent them so it can't be used by any companies. That is... That is incredible. That's really, that's really clever. I like that. I like that a lot. Love to see it. Love to see it. Do, 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 do. If someone thinks they could potentially do evil, but they want to actually stop it. There's your calling in life. You can think up evil ideas and patent them. That's it. You're done. You're done. You found a good use for it. Hey. Sandboy says I'm gonna head for them to play Pokemon. Oh, go enjoy! Oh, I, you know, the, the more I'm hearing about it, the more I do want to pick up the game. Like, I'm gonna be a little busy over the weekend, so I won't get to play it. And I don't think I'll play it on stream because I, I feel, I don't know why. Like. Any other game, like even games that I feel that I'm very attached to, like Spyro, I'll play those on stream. There's something about Pokemon where it just feels like I can't concentrate on it on stream. And I know that sounds really silly because I don't concentrate on Pokemon. I pick Pokemon that look cute because I like the way they look. That's that's why I that's how I choose my Pokemon. And then I overlevel them all and just like run through everybody like, you know, like a wrecking ball. But I don't know. Patent 4,455,816 is just a child's tricycle with one of those old style lawnmowers attached to the back. Like an old push mower? Oh my god. We had one of those back home actually. I mean, we, we were given it. We didn't choose to have it. Someone gave it to us and it was, it was, it was like cotton. It, it was like, who said it was like cotton turf? No, it was like pulling teeth. I don't know why cutting turf was what came into my head. Oh my goodness, apples, thank you for the bits. I, all I can imagine now is like a child. You know those tricycles, those children tricycles that have like the little handle on the back for the parent to hold so that, you know, they can noom them along. That, but they're just cutting the grass with it. And the child, no, no, I'm, I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop now. 
Dragon Dragon says I started Legends last night and genuinely the gameplay is such a breath of fresh air. I yeah, I really want to try it because I I talk a lot of sh a lot a lot of a lot of a smack about Sword and Shield, but like there were parts where they were fun, but I just kept going like mm, hmm hmm you know I there were always parts where I was like eh me eh. I censored myself, Zotan, okay? I censored myself. I gotta save those big words for special occasions. <laughs> but I, I think I'll give it a go. It just, it looks nice. The more parts a bit too close, the legs for my liking. Oh, jeez, yeah, you'd have to wear, um, you'd have to wear... Protective, what, what's it called? Protective clothing? I can't remember. Armor! Chainmail, shingle, PPE. PPE was actually what I was trying to think of. That was exactly it. Personal protective equipment. That's what I was trying to think of. I did nearly say HACCP, which is a completely different thing. That's hazard analysis, critical control point, and that's to do with like not getting food poisoned in a in a commercial kitchen, but and other kitchens, I guess, as well, and probably other things outside of food as well. But that's the context I learned it in. Secret Brussels. Hello and good afternoon. How are you keeping for yourself? Are you very very well? We are cutting, lads. Can we get some appreciation for broccoli? Give it up for broccoli! Woo! Broccoli, broccoli. Unce, 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 unce. Lads, I love broccoli. Is there anyone here who appreciates broccoli? Of course, of course there are. You, I, I feel like quite a lot of people here are appreciative of broccoli. I think it's, it's just a good food. Like, I genuinely think, unless you have a thing with textures, in which case that's understandable broccoli, a lot of people, not everybody, a lot of people who don't like broccoli have just not had it cooked very nicely, you know? It's so good. Good old broccoli, top lad. Oh god, are we putting brock in this stew? Mez, hello, broccoli, more like poggly. It is so good though, isn't it? The only strange thing, now maybe maybe this is weird, and maybe or maybe someone else agrees with me. I've had tender stem broccoli a few times, and it's really bitter. Every time I've had it, it has been really bitter and strange. And maybe I've just had really bad tender stem broccoli more than once. But there is something about it, like it, it it's just I don't know how to explain it. It almost, you know when you have something that's bitter and it almost leaves like a dry feeling in your mouth. It was kind of like that and I, I didn't, I wasn't feeling it. <gasps> no! Oh my god! Secret Brussels says I'll fill the COVID. Would it be possible to wish for a speedy recovery? Absolutely yes! Lads, I want to see a wave. A big wave. A big wave. I'll fill it again well soon! No! It got you now! You're gonna be A-OK. -okay. You're gonna be feeling good soon. You stay at home, you stay in your house, you stay in your house, you eat good food, you look after yourself, and don't you even think about streaming or straining yourself until you feel all right, all right? That's an order. That is an order. You gotta be good to your... You gotta be good to yourself or else. I'm so sorry, I just hit my mouth on the table. Oh, God. Oh, no, poor Alfie, the poor chicken. I'll have to send her a message after. Oh, no. Poor chicken. Um, Bunny Mobile says, I don't know about tender stem, but if you peel the stalk and steam it, it's so yummy. I need to make the effort to do that. I really need to make the effort because I, I feel like I waste the stalk a lot. But sometimes, like, sometimes I have peeled it and put it in things. And it, it tastes a bit weird. I don't know if I'm just getting weird broccoli or whatever, but you know. Um, Chef Pancake Butter. I love your name. Hello. Is this the new Sharknado movie? Uh, you know, he, he, he only has a little small role in that. You know, he's, he, he's not, he's not, you know, he, he's, he's very modest about his acting role. <laughs> How are you doing, Chef Pancake Butter? Are you very well? Um, watch your hands. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, I'm trying. We have all of our little, our little skins here to put in the oven in a few minutes. I think this might be enough broccoli because I find that if you put too much broccoli in some, what am I saying? I'm putting in more broccoli. Who am I? Who do I even think I am? I'm putting in all the broccoli. Otherwise, I'll be like, oh, I'll cook that broccoli and then I won't broccoli. I won't cook the broccoli. Lady Capara says, normal broccoli is all bitter and odd and feels weird too. See, broccoli shouldn't be bit. Are you allergic to broccoli by any chance? Broccoli shouldn't be, be shouldn't be bitter, in my opinion. I think it should have a little bit of crunch and I find it quite mellow. Maybe there's many, many different varieties of broccoli that are bitter that I'm not familiar with, but did you know that broccoli does not exist in the wild. Humans created broccoli. 
And I think it might be one of the best things that humans have ever created. It's true. This is entirely true. No, that would be cheese. I, I said one of. I said one of. The cheese is pretty good as well. Uh, Mez says, as someone who can't remotely cook, I'm watching carefully. You're taking notes. If you want the recipe we're using today, by the way, this is a nice, simple thing to make. Exclamation mark recipe. Um, it is a cream stew. It is honestly pretty easy. Stews are great because they're really, really simple to throw together. You can, like, unless you literally, like, genuinely have nothing in the house at all. If you have a couple of bits of vegetables around, you can throw a stew together, usually. Oh, <gasps> no! Kova says, my mom developed an allergy to broccoli when she was pregnant with me. Um, Chef says, I've never heard anyone describe broccoli as bitter. Can it be? Apparently so. I've never had bitter broccoli. I think if it's raw, it can be a little bit bitter, but you know. Um, Griff says, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, cauliflower, and a few other vegetables escape my memory. Well, yeah, all cultivated from the wild mustard plant. And, or is it the mustard? Yeah, it must be the mustard plant. You probably looked it up yourself. And if you look at the plant that it's derived from, you can see, there's like a ton, like, see this. See this? See this tiny little bit? You would even get less than that amount of like this broccoli, I don't know what you call them, little broccolis. And it was cultivated to have more broccolis. That's florid! I couldn't, I can never think of words when I need them in my brain. Little broccolis, florid. That's exactly it, a little broccoli florid. Woo woo, hello, how are you keeping? Come in, come in. I'm Blue Kestrel, how are you doing? Florid. Caitlin says I must go to the shops and get some meds and food. Hope you'll be back before tasting this stew. Oh, I'd say so. We, I like to let this simmer for a while, so you do not have to have a worry. Don't rush. You take your time, and we'll see you when we see you. All right. Now, I might put these in before I start dealing with the chicken. Oh, cheesy bug! Can we get some fingers crossed for cheesy bug? Some fingers crossed. I hope it all goes very well. I hope it goes very, very well. Big fingers crossed. Ooh, fingers crossed. Big fingers crossed. We'll all be thinking of you, all right? We'll all be, we'll all be rooting for you. Oh no, me spud. I should probably cut these up a little bit. I should have left them very big. Um, Taurus's Pokemon Legends is so pretty. See, that's the thing. Like, I, I know a lot of people, and we, we can talk Pokemon today, because usually if we start talking Pokemon, I start going on a rant about it. I'm like, no, no, can't do it. But today we are making a Pokemon themed dish, and Pokemon Legends Arceus is out today. So, you know, you know. A lot of people were criticizing the graphics and stuff of being like, oh, this looks like Ocarina of Time, but... If the gameplay is good and fun and compelling, that's never, that's not gonna matter. Or at least it doesn't matter to me. Now, I know some people will be a lot more sensitive to stuff like that in the game. Like if something looks a bit off, they'll be like, I, I can't unsee it, if you know what I mean. But stuff like that doesn't really bother me too much in a game. Like I can point it and be like, aha, that's funny. Uh, what a silly thing to have done in this video game. But it's never really bothered me all that much. Like I'd rather something be really fun, you know? Um, you walk by, hello, it's supposed to be like old Japanese scroll style. It looks really cool. I really, I really want to play it now. <laughs> And um, Sisterling says, I spent the entire night playing it and my hands hurt. Well, that's that's high praise. I don't think I've heard anybody say that about a Pokemon game in years, so that's that's wild. You love to see it. Maybe this is the breath of fresh air that the Pokemon franchise needs. I think I might have cut up too much spots. No, no, no such thing. No such thing. Maybe this is what it needs. Um, I, for one, do not play Pokemon for the graphics back. My Pikachu is a clump of several dozen pixels. Exactly. I, like... I still kind of feel like, um, in some ways, I, I, I don't want to say, because I, I, I do say like, oh, Pokemon should stay 2D, but I think it was just a bit of a rocky transition from one graphical style, graphical, is that a word? From one style to the other, you know? You know? Um... What a lot of people have the problem is that the graphics feel dated now and Breath of the Wilds aren't hugely detailed, they still blow people away. And um, the problem is that the environment was very bare in place, the animations are 3 ps Oh yeah, no, like, don't get me wrong, like, some of it, like, it was, it was valid, because, I mean, I understand the thing of, like, you haven't put the effort into this, like, very simple part of the game, or have you put the effort in elsewhere? And that's a completely fair thing to be worried about, but everyone seems to be saying good things about it, so I'm, I'm pretty happy. It makes my heart happy to see people being happy about a Pokemon game. 
All right. Yo, guys, it's almost 7 a.m. I just woke up to play. Ooh, exciting. Okay, I, I think I might have cut the spuds up a little too small, but sure, look, sure, look, it'll be grand. At worst, the small bits will simmer away to naught and, and give nice texture to the soup. I don't think it's a question of effort, the Switch as a console. You see, that's, the, that's what I was thinking. The Switch is a little underpowered as it goes, like for graphics. Now, I personally, I don't think that makes a huge, huge difference to the quality of a game, but it don't, like, it, it, it's a fact that compared to other current consoles, it is limited in that way. So they're not really left with much of a choice. Like you do have to cut corners somewhere to make it work. There we go. Bit news. Hello. How are you keeping? Are you well? Are you very, very well? Are you? Are you good? Good. I'm going to. Yeah. I'm going to do the the potato skins first. I don't have a particular recipe for these. I'm just eyeballing them. So we'll go as we go. I need to get. I threw the sheet pan over here because I didn't think I'd be using it. I'm gonna grab it. Um, Zardrag says, the thing is, there's so many people who yell about graphics and everything, and when the game doesn't look photo real, they're wailing and gnashing the teeth. Yeah, I, I don't get it. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm, I've never been interested in hyper-real graphics because they will never be able to age very well. And thankfully, Pokemon as a series and as, a, as an entity is very stylized, so I think, you know, I think it works. I think it works. The cold concept is so good, you're helping make the first of a Pokedex. Like, I'm, I actually, I'm, re oh, I'm gonna have to buy it now. And I kind of want to get a physical copy, which I feel like is gonna be hard to get my hands on. <laughs> I hate Hyper Real because my computer can't handle it. I have to be down like, like three view distance, flat trees. You know, you know in old games, when you turn all the settings down, and it's like the trees are looking at you because they keep moving. They're just flat, they're just 2D, and they're just like, me, me, me. Anyway, anyway, I need a bowl. Oh no, there's a bowl stuck in the other bowl. Okay, got it. Um, Thor says hyper reels doesn't matter to me. Art styles, what's more important? Exactly, exactly. That's why I can look at a game like my favorite game, Spyro the Dragon, for PS One, and while obviously the PS One style is a little dated like I mean it's it's polygons you got your triangles you're pointy it is still really pretty to look at like because the style is just it's so whimsical and beautiful it makes me it, it still makes me very very happy it makes me very very happy blueberry hello how are you keeping are you very very well oh, oh no oof says I was playing just destroyed Detroit become human I was running at three FPS I'm so sorry that is rough that was rough. Oh, speaking of graphics and things, a um, quick update just for anyone who didn't see on our Minecraft server, which if you're subscribed, you are welcome to join in on anytime you would like. We have increased the render distance. Um, it is now up from, it was previously 10 chunks. That was it. You couldn't see further than that just for the sake of the server. But now we have brought it up to 16 chunks. 16 of them and it just completely transformed a load of places on the server like loads of places look so much different loads of places are so much closer together than you realize oh say hasha hello but it means with the simulation distance is still at 10 so the performance has been great because nothing beyond 10 chunks is actually you know active like entities mobs anything like that but it looks great it looks fantastic i'm really really happy about it. now what order did i do this in upgrades people upgrades all right we got some spud skins. What we're gonna do is, do I wanna put, do I wanna put this on first or wanna put that on first? Oil. A little bit of olive oil. You can use any oil. I don't, it doesn't really make a huge difference to these. And I'm, I don't like getting my hand full of olive oil, so I'll just give them a little shake for a minute. I'm gonna do it over here just in case I get some on shark. Poor shark, it doesn't disturb that. I might have to put my hand in and just spread it around a little more evenly anyway. Little Nightmares 2 is graphically way better than Little Nightmares 1, but I prefer the first game because I like the gameplay, character design, and art style way more. I much preferred the first game. Oh wait, no, I haven't played this. Have I played the second game or just played the DLC? 
No, I think I just played the DLC, did I? I don't I don't think I played the second one. Did I? I don't remember anything from the month of October. I don't think I played the second one. I just played the DLC, yeah, that was it. We might go we might play the second one like this October. Alright, I'm just big salt. Pepper. I'm gonna give it a shake again. And once I put this down flat, I'll probably I probably should just wait till it's on the sheet pan. You, there's no recipe here. You just kind of go. You just kind of go. Yeah, I'll play two this year, I think. And Thoris is kind of want to jump into the Minecraft server, but Eco is sucking me in. But I may do both. It is entirely up to you. The server is very, very casual. For anyone's interested in joining, just I know we've recently had a lot of gifted subs and new people subbing. Um, it is incredibly, like, it's very relaxed. It's very chill. We're on a normal difficulty and... We're just having a nice time building some nice things. So you are welcome to come and go as you choose, you know? There's no strain. No strain. Minecraft calls, but so does class. Oh no! Ain't it the way. Ain't it the way. Okay. I want to... Ooh, what else? Should I put... Oh, I could put a little bit of... Put a little bit of Rose Myra in here. Or, mm, hmm. What do we want to put on our potato skins? Minecraft calls, but so does work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's, that's the. That's the. Yeah. Yeah. Justita says, um, I just took my first look on the server the other day. It looks amazing, but I have no idea where to start. I'd say start by just having a little walk around. Just go for an explore and see what you find. And let us know, of course, if you ever need any help over on Discord. What do we put on our potato skins? Oh, Bog Marble, hello. Work in class first. Exactly. Always get your work done, get your class done. We could put, actually, I do have, um, I have garlic granules. Mm. Ooh, do you know what I always forget we have? We have onion powder. And we do use it. I just always forget it's, oh God, it's leaking. It's leaking onion powder. Like, like the, a lot of, oh no. That's not very well. Oh, onion. Oh, it smells like. Oh yeah. That smells really good. That's really good. It smells exactly like a particular crisp. Onion. Fucking. Of course, it smells like onion rings. It's onion powder. I'm. I'm going to bed. That's, I, genu I genuinely worry about myself sometimes. I re-emerge shamed, upset with myself. <laughs> what does the onion powder smell like? Does it smell like onion rings? Maybe! All right, let me just. Not this again. I'm okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Hang on, I need a smaller spoon. Here we go, small spoon. Would you like some calming tea for the soul? I'd always like some tea. I might make a cup of tea once we have everything in the pot. A little onion powder. I think that would be nice, actually. I always forget this onion powder. I'm sorry to miss this part of the stream. I was like, okay, extreme and do not have a worry. We are here. We haven't gotten a whole lot done today so far, so do not have a worry. Um, Thor says, one of my friends just got back from a long UK trip and his brain couldn't get around driving on the right side of the road for three days. Oh, no. It do be like that sometimes. It do be like that. I picked up the same big spoon. I don't know how potent this stuff is. I haven't used it in quite a long time, so we'll find out. I like a sprinkle of onion powder on my fried egg sandwiches. Have you ever had, sorry, the, the fried egg sandwich just remind me, have you ever had a sandwich that's just bread? Bread, butter, cheese, freshly hot fried egg, more cheese, butter, bread, and then all of the cheese melts onto the fried egg. It is phenomenal. It is amazing. It is beautiful. And I would highly recommend it to everybody. All right, we're keeping it simple. Oh, there's one stuck in here. Get out. 
Out. Out. Simple. We got just salt, pepper, and a little bit of onion powder. Nice and straightforward. You can always put something else on these later. Now, of course, I might put a tiny extra bit of salt on just to make sure they crisp up nicely. You want to make sure they're not touching off each other. Look at that, look at this. You want to separate them out as much as possible. Now, this isn't a very, very big sheet for the amount of skins I have. So you want to maybe give them a shake every few minutes, you know? Um, Caroline says I started Minecraft on my own yesterday for the first time and before I knew it, it was midnight. Oh, it is so addictive, especially when you're first getting into it. Like, I remember um, one of the first times I played Minecraft on my own. Um, I McDara showed it to me and this was after I first tried it for the first time, maybe a few months later. Um, I was homesick from work and I sat down in his gaming chair at the time because I didn't have one, I didn't have a desk or anything. And I played, I brought my laptop over onto his desk just so I could be comfortable. And I played Minecraft, no exaggeration. I dug out like a whole tunnel. I spent six hours, six hours playing Minecraft. And I didn't realize the time had gone by, like at all. I didn't feel it. I did not feel it. Oh, is that Alfilda? Hello. Oh my goodness, lads. Can we get a wave of get better soon for Alfilda? You get better soon. Get well, sorry, that's only like an order. You better get better. You better get better. Get well soon. Get well very, very soon. I, I hope you'll be feeling all right. I hope you're not feeling too bad at the minute. I hope it's not hitting you too hard. You poor chicken. You poor, poor chicken. Oh my goodness. Did we get a shout out for Alfilda as well? I think we did. I think we did. Lads, if you're not already following Alfilda, I don't know what to tell you at this point. You're only missing out, you know. Um, it's okay right now. I'm gonna buy the new Pokemon. Yes. Get yourself the new Pokemon. Have a good, Good, fine, and fun time. Now, I'm gonna put an extra little sprinkle of salt for these in the oven. Look, they got a fine coating of oil. We got salt, pe a little bit of salt, pepper, onion powder. I'm, I kind of want to put something else on there, but I want to keep it fairly simple. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, and it's going in the oven. And then after about ten minutes, I'm going to give them a little shake, just to make sure they're not sticking together. All right. And then we'll actually do the thing we're making today, which is the cream stew. In you go. Let me set the volume up. Turn up the volume on the oven there, would you? Okay, Google, set a 10 minute timer. Sure, 10 minutes, starting now. And we have a shirt close up. Give me a second to just give my hands a little rinse. I somehow managed to pretty much get no oil on my hands in that whole experience. I just want to make sure, you know? I just want to be sure. Have to be sure, to be sure, to be sure. To be sure, to be sure, all oh, to be sure, 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 to be sure. To be sure, to be sure, we have a shark close up. I'm so happy I can lurk here when sick. You are always welcome to lurk. And for anyone who comes into lurk, you never have to, you never have to be here chatting and going wild. You can just sit back, relax, and have a nice little time. Because shark is going to give you a little wave and a little groove and a little move to keep you going. And to keep you straight going on into the weekend, straight on, just head on into the weekend, he's going to do his little groove. If you've never been here before, exclamation mark, hug shark. You can give him a little hug right now and take a little goodness away with you. Now, we're gonna have to move, Shark. Yeah, uh, we have we have to move you. We have to move you. I'm going to prepare the chicken, so I have to move Shark. Oh, goodness, out of the way. Over here. Oh, jeez, I, I knew he took the rat off the wall. Over here. I'm going to move a couple of things away. Meat preparation is no joke. Okay, we're gonna put Dave over here with Meef. I'm sure they'll get on great. Um, Warlock Foxfire, hello. I went to bed at 12 thinking I'd be able to sleep. No, got up at two and bought Pokemon Legends Arceus and played until half four. I've Pathfinder at 12. I hate getting excited and not be able to sleep. Oh, goodness. That, is, that seems to be happening with a lot of people for this game. I think I will. I, I'm gonna get it for myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Good. So it kind of mixes mechanics of let's go and snap in with it as, as far as the focus on studying Pokemon goes. That just, that, it just sounds really fun. 
It sounds very, very fun, and I'm, I'm very excited to try it out. I'm so, so excited. <laughs> also, tomorrow, um, for anyone who is subscribed, we're going to be watching, watching, do, 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 do. we're going to be watching Return of the King Extended Edition tomorrow in Discord. We've been watching the trilogy over the course of the last few weeks, and I'm very, very excited. Something fell, and I don't know what. I think it was his hat. I'll get it in a second. Jesus, okay, would you be careful? I'm me, I'll try. Um, Helia says, if I have a day off on Friday, is the Friday stream something I can keep in the background while I work on stuff? It's so relaxing. We do our best. We do our best. All right. So before I start on this, now I've only cut vegetables on this. And you can cut vegetables and then meat, not the other way around. You can't do the other way around. No, it's illegal. You get sick and then die. No, I hope you don't die. I don't want all, any of those things to happen to you, but can't do the other way around. Let me get, I'm gonna get the big pot actually. I like the big pot, but the only problem with the big pot is I have no idea where the lid for this is, so I have to use a different lid that doesn't really fit, you know? Um, Izzy says, when I first cake jumper Discord movie night last week and I loved it. Ah, oh, I'm so glad you liked it. I'm so, so glad. Ah. Oh. Okay, keep your fingers attached to you. I'll try. Thor, thank you for the bits. I thank you very, very much. Also, I got some good news today. If everything falls oh. in line, I'll be buying a new house before the year is up. It's next to a creek. No neighbors on seven acres of forest and fields. Oh, that sounds amazing. Oh, that that is the dream. Oh my goodness. Oh, I hope it all works out for you. Oh my goodness. That's so exciting. Like that, that genuinely is so, so cool. Oh my goodness. Cross the fingers. Now I'm just gonna refer back to the recipe for a second. I wanna make sure I'm doing everything in the right order because it has been a while since I made this. It's fairly simple, but I just want to be sure. Okay, oh, I forgot the... I have to cook it. Wait, no, no, no. I, I learned something. I learned something last week about cutting onions. I learned how to not die when I'm cutting an onion. I can't remember who taught me, but whoever you are, I hope you know that you've literally changed my life. Do you know who's, oh, do you know who's in Return of the King? Grand, 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 grand. Grand, 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 grand. I completely forgot to chop the onion. Honestly, like most of the time I spend cooking, I spend just pre preparing stuff. Cause I'm very, like even off stream, I am very slow with like chopping onions and doing stuff. I just, I get distracted by stuff. Unless I'm just in a mad tear and I do everything really, really fast, you know? Do the onion trick again. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, that's exactly what I have here. I have the, so I have a little bit of kitchen paper or a kitchen towel, whatever you want to call it. And I've wet it a lot with water and wrung it out, wrung it out. I'm going to get a different knife. I want to save that one for the chicken. I, I don't want to do any washing yet. There we go. So what happened last week was I had this bit of paper here and I cut an onion and I did not cry. It like my eyes did not burn at all. Like not even a little bit. And I was blown away. I couldn't believe it. So that's the onion trick. And I'm going to see does it work again. Cause I, I feel like it probably will. If it were, if it worked once, it would probably work again. There we go. I must dash, but it was lovely to stop by. Mez, look after yourself. It was lovely having you. I hope you have a lovely weekend and we might catch you again. All right. Look after yourself. Maybe the time I need to bake a simple cake is four hours. I feel the cake. Like sometimes I just, I just get distracted doing stuff or, you know, I'm very particular about things that I probably don't really need to be very particular about, but you know, you know. I'm gonna take this outer layer of the onion off. It just feels a bit mank. Now, that's ready to go. I can start prepping. I suppose, yeah, prepping ingredients is cooking. It just, you know, sometimes it takes so long. I'm not like, oh. Which is why I used to make so many like chilies and stuff because I I don't I still don't know if what I made would be classed as a chili but you just throw everything in and there's you cut up an onion and that's kind of it for heavy prep you know a bit of garlic throw everything in there we go right 
right, right. So, so far, I haven't cut into the onion a lot, but no tears yet, all right? No tears, I'm just gonna... I kind of wish this was like a little bit higher up, like up to here. We're bumping into I'm gonna sweep that again. We'll probably bump into each other again, I'm sure. I'm around sweet, he's always streams and stuff. Then I will most definitely see you again, then I reckon. And and just by that hello, ladies the stream table sending awesome Friday vibes. If it makes feeling better, we haven't done it much yet, so do not have a worry. How are you keeping? No tears. Just like L'Oreal kids, no more tears. Even though that stuff stung like acid, like it really did. It, it was, it was just pure acid. I forgot to do it exactly, but I've heard a tip that is, is to knock it off the top of the thing. I tried that, I used to try that and I was taught that in school and it never made a difference for me for some reason. Maybe I just got some particularly angry onions in my life, but. Cut in like that and then we just, we just, we just go Noom straight through. There we go. No, no crying. My eyes are not watering. Look at all of the onions I've cut and there is no pain in my eyes. Like literally not at all. This, this works. This is the second time I've done this now and you have seen me cutting onions before. Like I, I literally just, I, I lose my mind. I can't be dealing with it. It works. It works. 100% it works. And I am very happy. I'm very, very happy. Now, I need to put these, I need lots of, I, I, I feel, not I feel bad, but I feel weird using all of these, what the heck was that? Bowls and stuff, because you know, it's so much effort to put them all in the dishwasher. And not effort, but it's not space. It's effort to try and get them all to fit. Don't want you. Don't want you. But I need something to put them in, you know? She has the gift, the gift, the power. If I scratch my eye after going through all this effort, I think I will just simply leave forever. Caroline says, the best onion trick I know is to not have onions. I'm weird and I don't like onions. I wouldn't say that's weird. A lot of people don't like onions. Like particularly um, people who've had them undercooked in food. Ooh. Give me a sec. Ah. Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, these smell good. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I should have, actually, I forgot to pat them down with kitchen paper, so I'm just gonna flip all of them. Like every single one, give me a second. Flip every single one for a good even crispiness. They're actually cooking very quickly, which is nice. I want to put them in for 10 minutes. Ah! Ah! Local woman takes thing out of the oven. Surprise when it's hot. Do, 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 do. I will bring chat over here in a few minutes because I'll have to keep an eye on the pot. You know, you know how it'd be. You know how it'd be. Right, they're flipped. They're flipped. Back in. Oh, where's the where's the salon? There's the salon. In you go. I know these are gonna be very salty, but trust me, it helps them crisp up. It's worth it. It's worth it. In you go. Okay, Google. Set a ten minute timer. Okay, ten minutes. Starting now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof says cake singing is the most calming stuff. Oh, oh, you guys. Stark, hello! Um, is this Pokemon Arceus? The graphs are way better than people made them out to me. I know, we even have like, we have a realistic Meowth in the back here as well. Very realistic. <laughs> How are you doing, Stark? Are you well? Are you very, very well? I'm gonna give this a little rinse off just because there's lots of tiny little, you know, oniony bits. 
And now we're gonna prepare the chicken, and then it's go time, and I'm bringing, I'm bringing everybody over here. Too sober, it's 10 o'clock. It is 10 minutes past the hour of three. <laughs> Ten minutes past the hour of three. And Princess Rosaline and Shruik, how are we keeping? Are you very well? All right, let's see. Do, 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 do. Cool. Okay. I need to be ready to make some vegetable broth as well. No. Chicken broth, vegetable broth, whatever cubes you have, it's fine. It should just be enough to cover the vegetables. Again, if you want to try this recipe out for yourself. Um, exclamation mark recipe and you'll get a link to the recipe I'm using today. That onion is too big. That's better. Took the trash out, I'm already ready for the cold to be gone. I want to go fishing and work on my truck more. Oh, you'll get your chance. Get your chance soon. Soon. Soon, 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 soon. Sorry, you need to be intervened. Uh, may maybe he does. <laughs> now. There. Okay. Now. I take this away. Now it is time for chicken. And I'm going to take my Fitbit off because I don't want to get chicken stuff on it. And I don't want to have to wash it. Buttons, hello, I'm finally back at work after three weeks of isolation. Never been so happy to wake up at 7 a.m. Oh my good, three weeks is a long time. Oh my goodness. Buttons, how are you keeping? Come in, tell us all about it. How are you doing? Are you are you well? Are you very well? Are you 1% well? Chicken. I'm gonna move all of the soft bits away, away, away. Okay, I'm gonna move this into the sink. I'm going to use the designated knife for the chicken. I probably shouldn't open the packaging with it, but look. I love the memory from childhood resources. I spent hours going a deep dive into Disney Channel and what not to find it. Oh my goodness. That's quite the rabbit hole to end up down as well. Big slabs of chi chicken. I'm actually gonna use this here because I want to just cut off the manky bits, you know? Again, if you want to make this recipe and you don't eat meat, you can literally just make this without the meat. Like, it is it is completely fine. It will still be nice. This is actually a fine cut of chicken. There's actually, it's actually not too, not too scabby looking. I'll just take a few bits off that look a bit eh. This is very big cuts of chicken as well. Oh my God. Nice. Stark, ah, Stark, thank you for gifting a sub to Kirsten C. You are too good, you are too kind. I'm just gonna cut this into small manageable chunks. There's no particular size they need to be, just small enough, you know? Ew. I don't like the way it sticks to the knife. Does Brock use Torchic in his recipe? Oh no, poor Torchic. Did Torchic exist then? I don't think Torchic existed when that film came out. Well, not, not publicly at least, you know? You know? Did the calculation for you on the temperature this time? It's minus 21 Celsius. Oh my God, that is, that is too cold. That is too cold. It does not need to be that cold. That's silly. Too cold. Too cold. Three cold. I'm gonna take this bit off. Always be careful using knives, lads. And always be careful when, you know, cutting up raw meat or anything like that. Give your hands a good scrub afterwards and make sure you don't cross-contaminate it onto like vegetables or anything like that. I know a lot of you probably know this already, but I know a lot of you have, have said that you, you know, you don't really cook much or you're not into it or you don't know the ins and outs of it. So just give you a little reminder just in case. And don't take your eyes off the knife because you need a good sharp knife to cut meat. This is actually maybe a lot of chicken. I don't really know. I, I might be about to make too much of this stew, but look. How bad? How bad? The first Pokemon movie is gen for first gen only, I think. So it's it's first gen only, but it's also not, now that I'm thinking about it. Because do you remember before, at least on the video I have, before the film starts, there's this little segment which is I gotta wash my hands to, to scratch my nose. There's a segment which is like Pikachu's adventure or something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's like Pikachu and all of the the their like Ash, Misty, Brock's Pokemon, they all go for this into this little like Pokemon adventure playground thing and they encounter Gen 2 Pokemon. 
there's like a snowball and everything in there. They encounter a load, like, I think there's like Marrow and all of them. So I don't know what the timing is on that. Also, yeah, Ho Ho was in the first ever po Pokemon anime episode. So does that. Is that Starstruck? Hello, how are you doing? They had to rescue Togepi. I think, yeah, in one part they had to rescue Togepi. But before that, it was. I think a load of them were having, like, the, like that gang of Pokemon and the gang they ran into, they were having, like, contests and, like, swimming and stuff. They're rivals, you know? And then they all worked together in the end to save Togepi or something like that. Something like No, no! They all worked together, oh my goodness, to save the Charizard who gets stuck in the pipe. Oh my god, I'd forgotten about that. Anyway. Anyway. Yeah, Charger gets stuck in the pipe. Pikachu's vacation, that's exactly what it's called. Fair play to you. I'm gonna open this in Chrome so I can actually set up chat over here. <laughs> Curse and C says, never play a Pokemon game. All I know is Pokemon is Twitch streams. Well, that's that's plenty to know, honestly. Thor, thank you for Pokemon the Pokemon the movie thank 2000 fills the gap between Kanto and Johto. I cannot remember that film, and I own the video of it. Now, I bought it many years after the film had come out. Like, like, I'm talking, I bought it like maybe 15 years later sort of thing. But I have no memory whatsoever of it. Like, I don't remember a thing. Not a single thing. Nothing. Okay, hands are clean before I start touching that chicken again. Caffeine. Okay. Time for onions. <laughs> Zalogi, hello! I am well. How are you keeping yourself? And Fireflower, lovely to have you in. Right! Sorry, I sharp probably shouldn't clap in front of myself and I have a microphone right here. What we are going to do is we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. Now, I just kind of eyeball the olive oil. I don't measure it out because that gives me another thing clean. So I just put an amount of olive oil into this, into this pot. You don't want like half a bottle, just enough. And we're throwing in the onion. And now in this bowl, we have an onion. And Butterboy, hello. I have the first four movies on DVD with an eyesight right now. It, it hadn't occurred to me that they would have been re-released on DVD later, but I remember. <laughs> I hadn't seen the film before, so if it was ever shown in a cinema in Ireland, it was not shown anywhere, anywhere near me. So I never would have seen it first. It definitely wasn't in like the local cinema, I thought. But I remember getting the video for Christmas. Like on Christmas morning, I remember like unwrapping it and the really like bright yellow video and it was it's so cool so cool i remember it so vividly and i sat down like that day and watched it i'd say i watched it probably like hundreds of times no exaggeration and i haven't watched it in like quite a few years but you know it's still very special to me i rewatched the first movie as an adult and still cried oh, it's not embarrassing i'd still cry if i watched it now i still cry at the lion king i cry at films that are not even sad i cry at things that are like aggressively happy because they just kind of pull on the heartstrings in that very particular way you know Geno. right we're gonna just cook these until they're a bit translucent these are the onions and oh my goodness i forgot about the i forgot the garlic hang on garlic garlic Garlic. Hang on, we can do this over here. I can't do it over there because I can't. I don't want to move the chicken yet. How can I forget about the garlic? Goodness gracious, tonight. I'm gonna put an extra clove in just for luck. I'm looking for my Pokemon DVDs and refound Zoids. Oh, I don't remember Zoids at all at all. I cry at almost every Disney film. Oh. Like, I don't know what it is, like, sometimes I just get, I don't know, maybe it's just, like, a weird wave of nostalgia, but I get this really strange kind of, um, I don't know what it is. I think it might be just nostalgia, that it just, I, I just well up, you know? Finding Dory made me feel, um, seen, so that one definitely got me. Oh, I haven't seen Finding Dory at all at all. I didn't actually see any Pixar films for quite a number of years. I, I don't know why, but, like... You know, we weren't a, a cinema-going family, I so I would have missed a lot of films like that. But I, I had a lot of, like, 90s Disney films on video. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I turn this down. We have to check these bad boys. Where's it going? Whoop. Oh my god. I think these are done.
I don't live to regret this. I'm gonna give them another like five minutes just to make sure they're super crispy. Okay, Google. So the five minute timer. Nice. Okay, five minutes. George, I will, will somebody remind me of the close up in a few minutes? I just want to get this going and then we're gonna have a little bit of appreciation for Shark. It was a very positive experience for me as someone with mental illness and disability, like she had her own adventure and she was the hero of it. Oh, bless. Ah, Dory, fair play. I must watch it at some point because I have heard it's pretty good. Big Hero 6 always makes me cry. I, I only saw that, maybe I've seen it twice. I know I saw it in the cinema when it came out, but I haven't seen it. I, I feel like I haven't seen it since. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. If you don't cry at the fox, I have never seen the, oh, I've never seen the fox and the hound. I don't think, I don't think I've ever seen it anyway. I have no memory of seeing it. I remember seeing bits of it. You know when you watch, fil or you know when you watch videos and there'd be the trailers at the start. I, I don't know why. I never used to skip the trailers. I kind of enjoyed watching them as a child. I, I don't know why. They, they felt like they were part of the experience. <laughs> so I used to like see all the trailers for like the Fox and the Hound and Oliver and Company and all of those. And I only saw Oliver and Company when I was maybe 16 or 17, I'd say. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Princess Goodboy, hello, Fox and the Hound, and made me cry so much. I've never been able to watch it since I've I've had I've, I've had films like that. I cannot watch Your Name again, because myself and McDara watched it. Oh God, like a good maybe four and a half years ago, I want to say, a good few years ago. Anyway, we watched it together, and I literally I couldn't stop crying. Like for maybe an hour or more. Like, I literally couldn't stop. Like, I was in floods. And these are out. I, I don't remember the last time I cried so, like, violently at something. Oh my god. Like, it's a brilliant film. Like, it really is. And I want to watch it again. I'm just... <laughs> I have to be prepared for it because it will hit me so hard the second time around again. I know it. Oh, because the music and everything is fantastic. Like, it's so good. All right, I'm gonna get the garlic crusher to crush the garlic. I could chop it, but that's, we don't have time for that. I don't wanna let these burn. Do, 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 do. Okay, garlic cook for 30 seconds and then we're throwing the chicken in. Um, Stark says, no film hit me as hard as Machia? I don't think I've heard of that. What is that? I'm probably gonna sound like an Egypt now, not knowing it, but I, I don't know if I've heard of it. I can't watch Avengers Endgame. Um, I absolutely sobbed in the cinema. Meanwhile, my mom was laughing at me. No, oh no. The one that hit me the most was Marley and Me. I have not seen Marley and Me. And I remember when it came out, there was a big, big hype about it, but I've never seen it. I've never, ever seen it, ever. Is it weird that I've never cried in a movie says quality? Not at all. Like some people don't have that response to seeing like sad films or emotional films. That's that's pretty that's pretty okay. That's that's that's, that's fine. Do not have a worry. Yours is not little I wouldn't say you've anything to worry about. Okay, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Oh the smell of garlic. Ah! Okay. Nothi says I was super depressed one time and I wanted to cry but I couldn't, which made everything feel worse. So I watched your name for feel good feels on one side, but also because I knew it would make me cry and boy I did Honestly, a good therapeutic cry. Is good. It really is good for you sometimes, you know. And um, quality says I've cried over literal fruit. I've never cried over a movie. I, 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 I will cry at the drop of a hat. But sometimes I won't. It's just the weird thing. Like sometimes something will happen where I'm like, this is a very reasonable time to cry. And I'll just be like, dead inside. Like I don't know why. It's actually like it's more embarrassing for me. I think than than crying at like a film and being emotional over something like that. Like I just. It's like I can't get it out of my system. But then I'll watch like, I'll watch Matilda and see something happy happen and I will just flood tears. Like I'll just lose my mind. I won't be able for it. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I've been called Heartless Fork. I didn't cry in Iron Giant. Oh, I haven't seen Iron Giant, I don't think. And um, Chef says I'm a very emotional person. But I can't remember the last movie I cried to. See, that's it. Like everyone has a different reaction to that kind of stuff, you know? All right, let me just. We'll get this ready to go in a minute. Do, 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 do,
my goodness, wait, Gamer Nature, I see you, but I, I actually cannot stop what I'm doing because everything will burn. I will get to you in a minute. You're not going to be forgotten. We have a birthday. We're going to have our celebration in a few minutes. I need to go. I need to get this done. And once we have this on simmering, then I can leave it. I, I cannot abandon what I'm doing. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google, stop! 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 Okay, Google, stop! Oh, God! Jesus! I'm gonna lose my mind. Someone remind me, Gamerinator, you remind me as soon as I leave this on to simmer, you remind me because this is important. Now I need to take these out of the oven as well. Oh, they're perfect. They're perfect, they're literally perfect. Crispy boys. Don't forget your spots. I, I won't be forgetting, not, nothing will be forgotten. Actually, I'm gonna put this in a bigger bowl. Okay, nothing's broken. Probably. Probably. And we have another shark close that. It's non stop. I might have to, um, sometimes when I'm doing stuff that's a little more involved, I might have to put more of a cool down on some of the redeems. Or have like, a, um, or be able to like toggle them off for a little while when I'm doing stuff, because I don't want anyone feeling left out. We're gonna get all our stuff done, all of our appreciation, all of our fun, all of our goodness. I also just don't want to burn any food. <laughs> ah -ha! Or myself. Don't want to burn myself either. And don't worry, lads, there'll be, oh, there'll be plenty of time later. Once this bit is done, then we can have a little chat and a mess and a carry on. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Exactly, Caroline's got the right idea. You can still give him a hug in the meantime. That's not going anywhere. Now, can I interest you in a crisp? Okay, those look good, yeah! I'm gonna taste them in a minute. Once I have everything over here, I'm gonna let them cool because otherwise I'll burn the mouth off myself. You can take one if you'd like. You have to say the magic word. Actually, I don't need the broccoli here at all. We don't we don't add it just yet. Not just yet. The magic word, yes. <gasps> Lady Capabara, no. You see what she did? You see what she did? Um, Sasha says I gotta go because dad wants to work out right now, so I'll watch the rest in VOD. We'll see you soon, Sasha. Look after your good self and we'll catch you again, all right? No, I just want to let the- I just want to seal the bits of chicken. I think I might have too much chicken in this stew, but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be grand. No strain, no hassle, not to worry. It'll all work out okay. There we go. Bring the- I keep calling the heat the volume. The temperature volume back up. I'm gonna just put a little bit of... I know I feel, I probably seem like I'm going very heavy on the salt, but you'll have to believe me when I say I normally go too light on the salt, so I might be compensating in the other direction today. If you catch me drift. I'm gonna try and like, when I have this in a bowl, I'm gonna try and lay it out the same way he has it in the, in the pot and everything. All right, that's looking pretty close to ready. You also don't want to, you don't want to dry the chicken out, you know? You know? Before all the alarms and everything went off, hang on, oh, there was something I was saying, I think it's gone out of my head. I think it's time to add the spuds. Spud. 
Oh, that's definitely way too many spuds. Hang on, I have to take some spuds out. It's like 80% potato. I'll make use of these though, don't worry. No waste. Maybe I should just get a bigger pot to put the food in. That'll do. That'll do. More potato. Potato. Chad, I just want you to know you look amazing today. Sisterling. Hey. Sisterling coming in, being nice to us, flattering us, being kind to us. Oh, thank you. 80% potato, just like me. Oh, me. Oh, me and you both. Me and you both. I'm just gonna let them do their thing for a minute. And then we're gonna add in the stock, and then we're gonna let it. Let's see. Dee, 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 dee. And then we're going to just let them soften, and then we have to make the roux. But before we make the roux, we can we can catch up with everything else. And um, since when's the chunky spiral there? Oh, we've had that. Oh my goodness, when did we play? Um, when did we play Enter the Dragonfly last year? Because I was playing it on PC and the the remake. And um, I found a mod that makes them chunky. <laughs> it's cute. Do you have to move shark away from the crispy potato skins? He's gonna chomp them all. Yes. No, I actually moved him so I could just prepare the chicken on the table. That was pretty much it. I, did I say Enter the Dragonfly? Not Enter the Dragonfly. Year of the Dragon. Oh my god, no. Year of the Dragon. 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 From the Reignited Trilogy. God, my, my brain is just sorry. I'm mixing everything up. Everything is mixed up. You know, if you hadn't said anything, I wouldn't have known to correct myself either. But yeah, um, the there is a mod for the Reignited Trilogy that lets you um, that lets you make Spyro chunky. There is also a mod. I don't know if it's a mod for Half Life or if it's a mod. Uh, it's probably a mod for Half Life or a standalone game. But somebody made it so that you can play as Spyro in Half Life. Everything is the same except you are Spyro. Literally everything else is the same, but you are Spyro the Dragon. And I, to be honest, I know I never finished playing Half-Life last year because I it, it was just very involved and very like, you know, it was very intense. But that's that's a thing that exists. Ratva, hello, how are you even keeping? Hello, 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 are you well? Are you well? Um, Kirsten C says one of my favorite recipes is grilled chicken skewers that have been marinated in oh curry sauce, that sounds gorgeous. All right, we're putting on some stock over top. Now I'm using chicken stock, you can use vegetable stock, whatever you prefer yourself. I think the recipe actually calls for vegetable stock. I'm gonna just put a little more in there. There's a little bit of stock cube stuck to the end of this mug. But I, I quite like the flavor of these particular chicken stock cubes. They're not fancy or they're not, they're not even OXO or anything. I think they're just like little own brand. Little more liquid. At worst, we can just let it cook off, which will soften the vegetables up more, which gets us even less chewing, you know? Now, can I use my GameStop so stocks? Oh my god, I forgot. That's nearly a year ago that that whole thing happened, and it kind of feels longer ago. Pickle, hello! We are making cream stew. We're making Brock's Lazy Boy No Chew Stew. How are you doing, Pickle? Are you very, very well? Even less chewing. Butcha. Doodly 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 doodly. Where be. Okay, so <laughs> fun thing with this pot, it is the biggest pot in the house, but there's no actual lid to fit it, so I have to use this big one. This big boy. This big boy. Do 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 do. Boy do do do. And um, pickles as well enough. Thank you. Hope we're all well and health healthy and good. We are we are doing our best. Teeth leftovers from the veg chopping for stock. No waste. I'm I've been considering trying to make vegetable stock, but I haven't had much luck with it in the past. So I might try again. Now we have something very very important. Is Gamerinator here? Gamerinator, are you present? Are you present with us? Are you here on this day? Are you around? Are you around town? I'll give them a minute. 
In the meantime, we can we can taste one of these here. Do you want it? Do you want a crispy boy? Here, quick, have a crispy boy. Quick, quick, take a crispy boy. Quick, 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 take a crispy boy. Okay, now I'm gonna have one myself. I have no idea what they taste like. I'm done. Oh my god! Oh, ooh, oh! <laughs> oh my god, that's really good. The onion powder is really good on them. Oh my god. The crunch. Taste so go. They're, they're the skins off the spuds that I, be, that I peeled to put in there. I just put them in the oven with a bit of oil and salt and pepper and onion powder. Cactus swaps, hello! How are you doing? Oh my god, they are so good. It's all not as a miracle worker. I can't spell it. It's okay. Me neither. Oh god, quality says I've, my cat found a mouse in my room, so now there's a mouse in my room and I just scream, no! Oh no. Poor mouse. Poor you. Poor cat. Is Gamer Nature- Oh no, we might have lost Gamer Nature. If they come back, let me know because we need to give them a big, a big happy birthday when they come back. Cactus Fox says I have important news. It's Girl Scout cookie season. What does this mean for the average Joe or anyone else? <laughs> Quality says this cat bed's getting out of my room because I'm terrified. Oh no. We used to get mice back home because our estate was next to like a cornfield or something like that. And you know. You kind of get used to them eventually. And they, they were no trouble. They just, you'd hear them running around. You'd be like, please stop. But I remember I had a face off with one once because like for, for some reason there was like a particularly bad year where there was the, not like the place wasn't walking or anything, but you'd hear more than usual at night. I was like, right, we have to do something about this. So I chased one out into the hallway. Now our hallway at home was, is like, it's a tiny little square. It's like door, stairs, room, that's it. But I chased this mouse out of the kitchen into the hallway and I, I got there and I realized, I was like, what do I do now? So you know what the mouse does? The mouse goes over to the extension lead where we have the, the modem for the internet plugged in and the phone plugged in, sits right on top of like one of those big plugs because it's warm and like sits like this on the warm plug and just stares at me. I was like... What do you do with a mouse like that? What do you do? I couldn't pick it up. Like I had a pair of rubber gloves, but I was afraid it would bite me or, you know, whatever. <laughs> you adopt. See, we can't adopt because at the time we had Sally, our dog, and she was terrified of mice. Bless her, like I loved her to bits and she was good as gold, but she was so scared of mice. Like you'd know if there were mice in like the walls or whatever because she, or like if there was one over in the kitchen, cause she'd see it first and she would start crying and she'd run over to us, she'd be like, no! Bless her. Oh, now do you want some crunch? Ooh. Okay, hang on. We do have a close up. We do have a shark close up. close up right now this minute right now this minute and then we can i'll clean off this table properly and then we'll bring shark back over here he is he redeemed the close-up sorry it has been a while but he's here now and he love you he love you very 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 much it's true don't you doubt it. He hopes you're having a good Friday. He hopes you're looking after yourself. And he hopes you're gonna have a good weekend. What? Again? Okay, go on. He's gonna boop ya! Second boop of the day. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? If Gamer Nature comes in here again, will somebody roar at me? Because I don't want to miss them. Oh, 
A second boop. Two of them. Two of them. Oh, these are these are dangerous. I'm gonna eat all of these and I'll clean the table. Eat. Quick, have one. Have one. Eat it. Eat the crisp. That's too good. Like, it's just too good. I can't get over it. It's just a simple thing, you know? Mm. Imagine all of that could have ended up in the bin. No waste. <laughs> Um, Thor says, much as I want to stay and play Legends while watching, must go as apparently my mom's stuck in her driveway. Oh no, go rescue your mother and we'll catch you again soon, Thor. Have a lovely weekend and we will catch you soon, 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 soon. What that be, they're potato skins with olive oil, or baked in the oven with olive oil, salt and pepper and some onion powder. Really good. <laughs> yeah! You knew, you knew the good stuff. They're so good. I, I can't stop eating them, I put them down, they're so good. So, so good. Oh, I caught you, you poor chicken. I, I feel for you though, because like, with something like that you, it, it's the thing like you get that fear and you can't really stop yourself because it's nearly involuntary. It's like, <laughs> you know, you poor thing. Oh, it does kind of look like Shark is pushing the cart. Hang on, can we? Oh, now. Observe. This is his cart now. He's doing his shopping. Anything from the trolley tears. <laughs> he is delivering a fresh cart of potatoes, of carrots, green, I said green onions, green apples, two oranges, a hand of bananas, some set. Oh, we have celery. I hope that's still okay. I hope, I hope. Onions and garlic. Red Wolf says, um, I can make an older anime reference here, but I'm not sure anyone would get it. Do it. You'd be surprised. Where's Dave? Dave is over with Meath over here. Actually, he's kind of in behind the, the juicer. Leah, hello. Imagine you go to take out a tomato and Dave is hiding in there. He takes your kneecaps. That's how he does it. That's how he works it. It's exactly how it works. Now, we have to make our roux. And then we're going to stir the roux in to make the stew a cream stew. Now, roux can be a little tricky to make. You have, you, you just, you can't stop stirring a roux ever. It's illegal. You will go to your grave still stirring the roux you made 80 years previous. Sorry, that was a bit intense. But you have to keep stirring it or it can clump up. A roux or OUX is a mixture of generally, it's usually flour and butter, excuse me, and something else. And then you can add in like cheese or whatever you want. And it just, it thickens up a sauce very nicely. Oh, excuse me. And it's part of this recipe. Oh. That was a really crunchy one. So. What we need for this is four tablespoons of butter, six tablespoons of flour, two cups of milk. Can I admit something to you for a moment? And I know this probably sounds illegal because I just said that roux is very serious business. If you're making this, I advise that you follow the recipe for the roux. I eyeball making a roux. I, I literally just eyeball it. It feels illegal, but I have eyeballed making a roux several times. 
I think it's only backfired on me maybe once because I wasn't paying attention. But I generally kind of eyeball it. Science Fisher, though, what does Shark, what use does Shark distinguish as he is have with a vegetable today? He's just looking after them for me. He's looking after them. Garth Ops, hello, we're well. How are you keeping yourself? We're about to make a roux. He's, exactly, he's making sure the, he's making sure the, the spuds don't get away. In German, it literally translates to flower sweat. Flower sweat. I could, I, you know, I, you know, I've had a very peaceful life up until this point, I, I think, as it goes. Flower sweat. Don't like that one. Don't, don't like that one. All right. We have, oh God, this is a lot of cream cheese. Do you know how much cream cheese we're using today? This much, two packets. Two packages of cream soft cheese. Spilby Whispers, hello. I was going to my afternoon lecture, but decided against us. I'm feeling dizzy and tired, feeling a little guilty now for not going in person. Could have made a quick, could you get a quick hug from Shark? You absolutely can. Oh, he, oh here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. Spooky Whispers, here he comes. Here he is. He hopes you're going to be feeling better soon. Very, very soon. You have a lie down to yourself. Make sure you have something to eat, plenty of water, and I hope you'll be feeling better soon. Very, very soon. He's wishing you nothing but the goodness. Goodness. Watcha. 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 There's. Watcha. <laughs> I really hope you'd be feeling alright. There's not. There's something worse. Well, there, there are lots of things worse, but it, it's very frustrating to feel unwell in a way that you can only kind of explain as dizziness because it feels so vague, you know? It feels so, so vague, but it's it's so, so frustrating. Frustrating. Okay, let's get some moves and grooves on this. <sighs> do I really want to ask Google this just to make sure? I kind of do. Okay, Google. What's four cups of butter in grams? Don't, don't give me any lip. Sorry, I didn't understand. Okay, you know, that's probably worked out better. I'm going to Google it. I'm gonna Google it. That's probably worked out for the best here. That's a lot of butter, 227 grams. It's telling me a cup is 227 grams. That's a lot. That's more th that's that can't be right that cannot be right there's no way that's right tablespoons sorry this is a tablespoons anyway i actually read that wrong i had a moment there it was like that way too much butter um four tablespoons of butter that could have been disastrous we could have all died <laughs> Fifty-six point seven grams. Okay, that's fine. The stew is all just a kilogram of butter in the stew. Jeez, can you imagine? Don't imagine. It's it'll be terrible. Don't think about it. Two hundred seventy-five grams of butter in a relatively small stew. That I mean, that would at least be a little bit funny. I wouldn't because it would be an awful, like, sinful waste of food. But it'd be kind of funny. Just oh. Just melt the butter and that's it. You've done your stew. That's it. You got it. Just molten butter. Enjoy. Oh, hello. There we go. Just take a stick of butter and chew. No, I might put on some like slightly. Oh my goodness. I found it. I found it. This is the, this is the playlist I was looking for. 
It was on the recommended. I just hadn't seen it somehow. Koala pants. Hello. Came for the shakes. This is for, for, for the shakes. For the shark. Bro, oh, oh, be quiet, you. For the shark. Stayed for the lovely baker. You are incredibly kind. Koala pants. How are you keeping today? Are you well? And the big Lou. Hello. Beans, indeed. And Alty Bertie. Hello. We have plenty of people coming in. Can we get a wave of sharks to welcome in all our new friends today? I hope you're keeping very well. Today, we are making... Brock's Lazy Boy No Chew Stew from the first Pokemon film and it's essentially just cream stew so if you like cheese I've got great news for you. <laughs> I've got incredible news for you. Oh yeah. So we're making the roux, we have the vegetables in, we have it all in here. If anybody would like the recipe for what we're using today or what we're making today, exclamation mark, recipe. Recipe. And for anyone new, if you'd like to give Shark a hug, exclamation mark hug Shark. <laughs> it's great news. <laughs> Sister, says I've been known to like some cheese. What's ever, uh, do we still have the cheese command hedge actually? I know it's a, it's a lot of chat spam, but it's good fun every so often, you know? Butter Boys says, I like cheese, but I'm lactose intolerant, no. You poor chicken. Oh, we do still have the cheese command. You can get your own cheese. And Call Upon says, I found you on TikTok. I'm so happy I found you. The epic story being told on your TikTok is fantastic. Oh my goodness, wait. Which, which story? Which story? I can't remember which one it is. I, 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 I'm very bad at using TikTok for putting up like little, little funny bits from the stream because I just forget to put things up. And I'll forget for like a month and I'll put something up and the, the algorithm on TikTok will pick it up and run away with it. And then I'll just forget to like follow up on that, I suppose. You know? Oh, we've got, what cheeses do we have? Free, free bourgeois? Free bourgeois? I don't know what that is. I don't think I've ever heard of it. And the battle between you and your Google home. Oh my goodness. Do you want to hear what it calls me now? Okay, Google. What's my name? Your name is your name is your name is Chicka Chicka Slim Shady. Um, thank you, thank you. I'm here all week. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I could just randomly change the name because I hadn't, I hadn't thought about it in such a long, long time. You know. You know. <laughs> but yeah, it's been an ongoing thing. If you go over onto my YouTube, actually, there's a video of probably the most bizarre interaction I've ever had with the Google Home ever. Ever, ever, ever. It's, um, it's, it's something. Sometimes if you ask it like specific things, it just kind of loses its mind because it doesn't know how to respond. Like sometimes I'll be like, what's this? Like, what's this Fahrenheit and Celsius? And it'll, it'll do something very straightforward like that. But if you start asking it like for cups and grams and stuff, it just, it short circuits and it will read you out the most Unrelated, I suppose, but the most bizarre carry on. It is just absolutely mad. Absolutely wild. I thought I was going to say your name is your name is Chicken Chicken Slim Shade. No, it's. It would be kind of funny though. It would be, it would be a little funny. All right. Time. Oh, I forgot to get the milk. I'll get the milk in a minute. I'm sorry, this is kind of kind of scratchy, but it's gonna have to sound like this for a while. Ask to divide by zero. Oh goodness, epic streamer, welcome in. If I ask, uh, she's gonna give me sass. I don't want to get sassed by her again. I don't. I, I think I'm too delicate for it. Cause she regularly sasses me. I am regularly sassed by the the AI. Just gotta keep going, just gotta keep going, just gotta keep going. My favorite was when I started speaking in Japanese. I, uh, now I know why that happened. It's because I'm a fool and I had enabled Japanese as a language for it to recognize. So it clearly thought that I had said something in Japanese that I hadn't, or, you know, just picked me up the wrong way. Can't, I can't handle, can't handle the sass. I can't, can't do it. Can't do it, it's too much for me. Too much for me. Do you know what it does do, though? Okay, Boomer. How are you? 
Oh no, she she gets it, it gets angry sometimes if you do that. It's like you can't call me boomer and just immediately deactivates after like a second. It's kind of funny, honestly. I'm gonna put the light on over here. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. My mom ironically starts to argue with her as a dinner. Oh my goodness. Oh bless. I mean look, gives us something to do, you know. I'm just gonna be gradually 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 adding in the flour to the roux over here. I'm trying to get it nice and nice and creamy and try not to mess it up too much. Do, 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 do. Oh god, it, it actually would be just my luck, Onsen Mark, that it would start playing a song or something. Do, do, do. AI gets mad. Leak's current location. Oh no. Actually, we don't have our address on that, at least, so. The worst I think it could say is, like, Dublin City, so, you know. I'd still be a little, a little put out about it, but. Do, 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 do. Bam, do. More flower. Oh, now it's getting creamy. Oh, here we go. Right, so we need to. I'm just double checking. How about. Oh, paprika! That's, that's exactly the kind of thing I was trying to think of. For some reason, my brain wouldn't give me paprika. Um, paprika would actually be lovely on those, I should have thought of that. I don't know if it's maybe a bit late to throw them in, throw it in, but... Alright. How do we get the recipe? Is it, yes, it should be exclamation mark recipe. And that will give you the recipe for the day. Now, it won't give you the recipe for the crisps, because I just kind of make those up as I go along. But it'll give you the stew we're making. And I do want to do more cooking this year, which is why I, I'm still thinking about maybe getting a second camera for the stovetop. Because then I can actually show you what I'm doing instead of just having my back to you all the time, you know? You know? Oh, and during the making. Yes, of course. I think I might actually put a little paprika next to it. I think that would be lovely. What temperature do you put the crisps in for? I put them in on 200 Celsius. And I put them in for 10 minutes and then I flipped them. I flipped, made sure to flip all of them because otherwise they get kind of weird. And then I put them in for 10 minutes and then another four minutes on top of that just to make sure they were good and crispy. Um, Koala says, you know what my favorite odd thing to do is every now and then sit on the floor. I sit on the floor. Sit on the floor. I literally, I sit right here because I have a mat on the floor right here next to the sink. And I don't know why. It's just really comfortable. I don't know why. Second camera or a hot plate. I've been thinking about Now, the only thing with the hot plate is that, you know, I only get one hot hob at a time. And it means I'll have to move Shark back and forth quite a bit because I wouldn't like, like him to be near the hot plate, you know? Um, I'm just going to eyeball the milk. A little bit of milk. Oh, yes, this is the business. Eating on the floor is superior. Yeah, and I, I couldn't tell you rightly why it is, but it, it just sort of is. I need more milk than that. More milk. How can you tell the heating is on without looking at the thermostat? Cat's fully extended on the radiator. Oh, cat know the cat knows what's up. Knows exactly what's up. Knows what's good in life. Oh, please, Rue. Please, please don't split. Please, please, I'm begging you. Lads, can we get some cross fingers for the Rue? Please, please. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on, I'm on my knees in my mind. Just not, like, not, like, begging, praying, hoping. Please, please, I beg of you. Do not, do not mess up. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. Please, please, please. Oh, okay, yes, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Thank goodness, okay. I was really, really worried that, that had, I had just immediately messed this up somehow, but do you wanna see how silky smooth this is? Oh, that's the business. Are you okay? I'm never 100% okay, I'm just going, I'm just going. This actually looks completely fine. I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny, a teeny, tiny, tiny little bit of extra milk. There we go. I wouldn't be this stressed if I would just make the roux according to the recipe, but goodness forbid I actually do that, you know? Okay, I'm gonna put a tiny... Oh no, you know what? You know, that looks pretty good. It's a little bit runny, and that's on me for maybe putting a little tiny bit more milk, but you know. You know. I found your TikTok battle with Bubba. I, I love bubble tea, but... 
and I love paper straws, but ever since they started giving the paper straws, I haven't been able to I haven't been able to get it first try in a long time. I do have my own bubble tea straw and I always forget I have it. And I always get the bubble tea pierced first try when I use that. I just forget it's there. I just fully forget it's there. Lady Faust, good morning to your good self. How are you keeping? Are you very, very well? Now that is silky business. Oh, that's nice, that's nice, that's nice. Very good, very good, very good. Bring a compass and pour it into a bowl. What? What? Bring a compass and pour it into a Says, you know what some things here remind me of what tell me I'm so confused <laughs> Starkey all right all right we need to put 400 grams of that's just a lot of cheese am I doing this right heat off yep you heard the lad bring the compass all right well fair enough fair enough I, I heard him loud and clear. We gotta add so much cheese. Jeez, this is a lot of cheese. Cheese. Look at all of this cheese. Here, do you want a spoon of cheese? Here you go. This seems like quite a lot. Probably because it is quite a lot, but... It, oh okay that's okay that's okay it'll melt it'll melt i hope it, it'll it'll if i told you know if i put the heat back on it would probably be melt oh my goodness okay a little spoon of cheese it's like the entire package nearly there's a little bit in there i missed i need to scrape the rest out and make sure I don't miss anything and don't waste anything and just follow you on instagram to keep up to date on the streams ah cool you're very good my first stream today and i'm so happy i came by ah! I'm so glad you're enjoying yourself. I do put um, go live notifications on Instagram, but my Instagram is mostly an outfit diary, to be honest. How and ever, if you'd like to know when the stream is on, we have a Discord. I know, like, I know not everyone has Discord, but it's a nice little community. Um, if you want to join us there, you can do exclamation mark Discord and head on over for your good self. It's, it's a nice time. It's a very nice little time. I like it anyway. Sorry, that's really loud. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Oh god, muscles in my arms from doing this, I'm telling you something, they are suffering. Do, 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 do. Is that the right amount of cream cheese? I just have to double check this. Oh, wait, no, it's not. It's four tablespoons of cream cheese. Okay, you know what? One package, at least we didn't open the second one. I don't know why I just completely misread this recipe, even though I've made it a lot of times before. But... Internet's just not gone, because I wouldn't be here if it was gone. But the my old phone has issues staying connected to the internet sometimes, so... Okay, this is about it then. This is smooth, it is beautiful, and... What is going on? Stop it! What's wrong with you? Come on! Get it together. This is the phone that plays the music. It's my old phone. And it, it literally just disconnects from the internet now and then. I can't figure out what's causing it. I think maybe it's just, I don't know. It's just a bit tired. <laughs> um, Red Wolf says I got a brand new phone yesterday. I've already uh, dropped on the hardwood floor. What? No. Oh goodness. No, I am, I'm very, very careful with phones and I, I have been lucky enough, and I still don't fully know how I've managed this, mind you, but I have somehow never dropped and broken a phone. Now, I feel like the, that day is coming for me soon, but I'd be heartbroken if I broke the phone I have now. That's what I have here. I'd be absolutely heartbroken because I only got it. Like, it's only new. I only got it, like, last year. Um, question, if you could any Poketreat be a real thing, which one would you 
choose. Um, Koala says, I mean, between Poke Blocks and Poffins, I think it would have to be Poke Puffs. I think Poke Puffs are the most appetizing looking of all of the Pokemon treats. They're the ones from Gen 6. <gasps> Thoughts at 3am, hello. We all know that yelling at devices make them work better. I mean, it, it happens sometimes, it works. How are you doing, Thoughts? Lovely to have you. How are you keeping? It's just gone 3am for me, so I'm gonna go to bed. Just eat, just look after yourself. We'll see you soon. Would you like to see? Would you like to see? Would you like to see? Look how creamy this is. This creamy, cheesy roux. Look, look at, look at that. Look, take a whole spoonful of that. Whole spoonful. Oh yeah. <laughs> Made Poke Puffs are so good. I, I would really like to try making them. I might put that on the, oh, ow. I might put that on the list of things to make at some point. We're actually not too far out from finishing this recipe. Which is kind of wild. It feels like... I, I suppose it's a lot of prep and then you just kind of go and do everything. Do 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 do. Alright. So what we're doing... You're bringing this over here. Again, I wish I could show you what I'm doing, but we'll, we'll get it. We'll get that all together someday. Now, I am... I'm gonna bring the heat down significantly. I am now going to very gradually add the roux. Do you know what? What I might do is I, mm, I'm i going to actually take some of the broth from this, add it into this, and mix, mix it up just so it, it combines a little more easily. I'm just going to get a, a spoon. Ladle. Ladle will do. Ladle will do. We've used it the same way. And thoughts is I'm so tired. Got to convince my body that being awake at night is fine and good again. Oh, no, because you I know you said you were doing something there the last weekend. That would mess you up entirely, trying to get back on the on the normal routine. Do, 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 do. You have to do it like this just to make sure it doesn't split and then it should be able to go in. Kind of like tempering eggs, but you know, it'd be grand. You can usually just stir it out with something like this, but you know, I just like to be sure, be sure. It'd be kind of heartbreaking if it didn't turn out nice, you know? Kuro says, I've had my phone for over two years now. I've dropped on several different times of stone, solid stone floors and that time has yet to get a single crack. I feel incredibly blessed by the phone gods. I was like that with, um, I had an iPod video um, and I, oh jeez, I had that thing for years and years and years, and I was really lucky that I did drop it by accident a few times and nothing happened to it. Like, it, it hardly had, like, a mark on it at all. I was very, very lucky. <laughs> now. Oh. Oh, I wish I could show you this. I feel like it might be a little thin this time around. I think maybe I didn't make the roux thick enough, but we can just let it simmer away for a little longer to be grand. So now at this point, at this point, I'm gonna throw in all of this broccoli. I'm putting all of it in. I know I held back some of the spuds because there wouldn't physically be room in the pot, but all of the broccoli is going in, no questions asked. This is going to be a cheesy, creamy stew. Oof says I'm gonna head out and go get ready for class. Oof, look after yourself. I hope class goes well for you and we'll catch you soon, all right? Okay, Google, set a timer for 10 minutes. We're gonna let that do its thing there for a little while. All right, 10 minutes, starting now. Ting. Oh my goodness, it might be time to make a cup of tea soon, honestly. All the, all the tiny little trees. Little tiny trees. Anyone who hasn't had a crisp, quick. Have a crisp. Have a little crispy boy. <laughs> god, that's so good. Oh no, come back. So good. Ah! Where'd it go? Oh my god, it's right here. So good, so good. Broccoli is tiny, has two cousins. Oh, that's very sweet. Oh, absolutely adorable. Oh, has two. I kind of want to play Breath of the Wild again at some point. I don't know if I want to start a new save or just pick up where I left off a couple of years ago. 
It's a good game. It's all good. I'm just, I am honestly, I'm just gonna finish these. What's everybody else making today? Is anyone baking anything? Because for anyone who's new, I normally bake on a Friday. I don't usually make like stews or soups or food, food, savory food, I suppose. I might bake something next week though, because now we've had two soups in a row. Or consider, oh, Age of Calamity, yes. Man. This year, this year, I hope. And if next year, next year, but hopefully this year. I'm not touching the table because I, I, I didn't get any chicken on, but I just want to give it a proper wipe down, you know? I'm gonna get closer to can she read. Um, Zarga Dragon says, oh, making steak later, very nice. Zash says, I made a burger. What kind of burger? What you put on it? Tell me all about it. Um, I've got rice cooking in the crock pot, says take one. I like to mix in my favorite ketchup and tuna if I have it. Ooh, that, sound, that sounds like it would cure with hails. Yeah, really, really cozy, you know? Very nice and simple. Lady Faust says, I'm gonna make the soup I had to put off making last weekend due to pull back. Oh, poor chicken. I hope you're feeling better now. What are you putting in your soup? Mm -hmm. Caroline says, we're having soft tacos tonight. Oh, yes. 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 Zav says, impossible work with lettuce and tomato. Ooh. Nice and simple, very, very delicious. Um, Zoloki says, I always get inspired of you making stuff, so I started making, oh, a berry pie. Oh, I hope it's, I hope it's, I hope it's very good. Ah, oh, mm, mm, mm. Sorry, I do hope it's very good. What kind of berries are you putting in? Lady Fast says, it's potato soup with chives, ham, and thyme. Oh, that sounds so good. Potato soup is just great. Like, potatoes are a great base for a soup. It's just beautiful, it's simple, love it. Okay. I am going to give the table a quick wipe down because I feel bad having sharks sit back there and look at me longingly and go, oh, why would you leave me over here? Because, you know, he likes being up seeing the people. Oh, Thoughts isn't doing scones the friend later. Yes. Oh, scones are so good. I've made scones in ages. Alex Burb, no! Potato soup is still diluted mash less than three. How could you do this? How, how could you do that? How could you make me think about that again? <laughs> oh dear, we wouldn't have you any other way, would we? Would we now? Would we re- maybe? No, we wouldn't. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Reduce, reuse. I'm gonna use the little bit of tissue I was using earlier. Um, Steel the Steel says we all have spaghetti with vegan bolognese this evening. Ooh! Do you use a, a meat substitute or are you using like Mushroom mince. Mushroom mince is good. Real, real good. Or you can just throw in more vegetables. It's a good time. It's good living. You don't put bacon in mash. That's a fair point. Well, I mean, you could. You could. You could put bacon bits in mashed potato. I'm not saying it would be legal, but it'd probably be good. Oh, here's a fun one, actually. Um, so, um, Magdara is has a new co-worker as of a little while ago and she's from the states and apparently she does not like mashed potato and i've decided that it is my new life mission to get her to like mash it is my it, i am determined i am so determined i i am so determined you don't like mash either well i'm determined now <laughs> so determined the determination is just in my brain there we go yeah bacon and mashed potatoes i think would actually be really good like bacon wait i didn't finish what i was doing i didn't spray the table down hang on um bacon in baked potatoes is like little, little crispy bacon bits incredible 10 out of 10 Highly recommend. Really, really good. Okay, the, the determinator. I'm determined. I feel like I'm determined to do a lot of things. I don't get all of them. I don't, I don't do all of them, but you know. Make the mashed potatoes like a load of baked potatoes. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. So good. So, I, no, I, I'm, I, 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 I,
I feel like I'm a lot of my American culinary knowledge comes from binging with Babish, and I know that that is not a fair representation of American cuisine because that is one singular person. How and ever, I watched him make. There, there was an episode he did on mash spuds, and. <laughs> It was too complicated. His basic mashed spuds were too complicated. Like, they, they were just too complicated. He made them too smooth. Now, I'm not saying you don't want hard lumps in your mash, because that just means you've undercooked your spuds. But they were, they, they were somehow just too complicated. And I don't know how to explain that. But... He went through so much extra trouble to get all of the lumps out. I watched him put, I'm pretty sure, maybe I imagined this in like a rage afterwards, but I'm pretty sure he put mash like through a sieve. And I was like, no, you, no, no, no. <laughs> you can add extra bits into your mash. Like I think, I mean, we wouldn't have Colcannon if you couldn't do that. And Colcannon's great, but it was just, it looked kind of goopy. They, they looked really, really goopy. And Thought says, do you prefer your mashed potatoes perfectly pureed or still slightly chunky? Like a little bit chunky. If they're too pureed, then they're, it's kind of like goop. Goopy, you know? And I don't really like that. I don't go for that. Right. Right, Shark, you're back. Don't mind. Yeah, a little texture in mash is nice. I think it's good. And I, I stand by, like, a good base for mash is more mash. No, is butter. Butter, maybe a tiny bit of milk. Tiny bit of milk if you want, just to get it a little creamier if if they're very dry or something. But you shouldn't really need more, more than that. You know? Now, I'm not trying to be a spud elitist. But like, I don't know. You can make that and you can enjoy it and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you present that as like the end all and be all and like the basic bare bones mash, that's just incorrect. Incorrect. Exactly, Zahaz. It doesn't be mashed up pureed. And if you want the pureed, by all means, go. Go. Um, Butterboy says, I'm from a potato farm in town in Idaho. There's a day where we celebrate the potato harvest, as you should. They are, they're beautiful things. Um. Onsen, Onsen Mark says, I have to know, is that bacon you're eating? No, it's, this is potato. They're the potato skins off the spuds that I put in the soup. I peel the spuds and I put the skins in the oven with olive oil, salt and pepper, and some onion powder, and they're great. They're so great. So, so good. So good! Everyone should try and make them. If you're, I mean, if you have the patience and the ability, of course, but if you're skin on the spuds or something and the, the, the skins on them look fairly good, I would say don't waste them, you know? Sophie Gar Magic, hello, how are you keeping? Um, I'm an endless lurker, but I want to say nothing gives me that sweet feeling of Friday as your baking stream. Oh, I, I'm, I'm flustered, hey. You, you guys, you guys. Oh, Sophie, I'm so glad. I'm so glad you, you can ring in the weekend with us every week. That's, oh, I don't know what to do with you. Press a, press a feeling of people being nice. Oh, I don't know what that was. I hope you always feel very comfortable to have a good lurk and have a little relax with us. Oh, oh. And Hotama, hello, how are you doing? You, you guys, you guys. Right. I gotta give this a little stir. Um, Debbie says, the food stream is the highlight of my week. If we can only lurk. Oh, you guys. You're too good. You're too good to me. I hope you're, I hope you're as good to yourselves. How Thomas says, can I ask where is Dave? Oh my goodness, I didn't bring Dave back up the front, actually. Now, this is gonna be messy for me to clean up later, but I'm going to just turn the heat up very slightly and let this reduce for a while. Here he is. Here's the boy. Now, back where he needs to be. Is it cake appreciation errors again? You're always nice to me. <laughs> I'm very lucky. You're all very good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. 
Oh my goodness. Carolyn says, do you know who else is a good egg? You. And the mods. Can we get some mod appreciation? If it's me appreciation, then it has to be mod appreciation next. Now, now, go, go, go. That's good. Would you rather we weren't appreciative? No, absolutely not. I would, I could never be the kind of person who like, encourages a toxic chat or whatever. I couldn't be dealing with that. That, that wouldn't be fun. Like. I enjoy streaming. A big part of why I enjoy streaming is because you are just great fun. Like, you, you're you're wild, but, you know, you're good. You're very good, and you're very kind, and you're you're wild. Now, would anybody like a cup of tea? I'll throw it to you. Because I've been hanging for a cup of tea for about an hour and a half. And I, I'll, I'll clean this later, it's fine. All I do, all I do after ending stream on a Friday is I sit down to let my brain reset for about 15 minutes and then I try and load the dishwasher. I usually manage to get it all done. <laughs> I actually need some water as well. There's no water in my water bottle and I need water in the water bottle so I can consume water from my water bottle. Don't throw boiling water. <laughs> Uh, maybe I won't. Maybe it's not such a great idea. <laughs> Thought says, where's Jeff? All the mods are radiant, but he's the most fun to appreciate. I think he, he must be busy today. He must be a busy boy. Oh, very good. Oh, he's out of the office today. I hope he's doing all right out there. We'll catch him. We'll catch him again. Lady Faust is saying to reveal my water bottle, but I have a towel on my lap and he doesn't want to move. You will have to, you'll, you're going to have to like deliver Deliveroo or what's it you have in the States? Uber eats a bottle of water to you at this stage. Um, Unusual Dragon says, I find it fascinating that you can drink water from the tap because here there's a main chemicals in tap water. We're fairly lucky in that, like, now, in a lot of places in Ireland, you cannot drink the tap water. You just can't. It comes out of the tap brown sort of thing. But in this area, and I was lucky as well growing up back home, you can drink the tap water. Thank goodness. And I'm, I'm very grateful for that. Like, literally... Every couple of days, I remember that I'm lucky to be able to drink the tap water where I live. I'm like, geez, I am, I'm spoiled, really, and I don't realize it a lot of the time. I'm starstruck, starstruck says, Dutch tap water is chef's kiss. And Caroline says, Norwegian tap water is the best. I've heard that Swiss tap water is just wild in how nice it is. Now, I've, I've never been to Switzerland, so I couldn't tell you personally, but... Swedish tap water is excellent. Ooh. I wish that more people had, like, drinking water out of their tap in this country. Because there, there are some places that they either don't have water that they can drink from the tap in the kitchen, or they just regularly, like, really, really regularly get boil water notices. So, it's not great. Oh, Sword Dancer, hello! Um, Cake, I just wanted to say that your alert had me thinking you were making onigiri because you mentioned jelly-filled donuts. I felt slightly betrayed. I was considering making it at some point. But we are making the Lazy Boy No Choose Jew. Sword Dancer, hello! How are you? It's lovely to have you. How are you getting on? Are you well? How's things? Um, Rachel Eight Slag says, my tap water tastes like chlorine, so I have to run it through a filter in my water pitcher. Those little Brita filter jugs are brilliant because in a lot of the places where the tap water is like, it's, it's iffy, you can run it through a filter and it's okay, thank goodness, you know? Um, Thought says some Aussie tap water tastes like river. That's in the places near rivers, oh no, oh no. So you see says tap water from Northern Sweden is the best, oh yes. Um, Zara Chagas is allowing me to be pa patriotic for a moment and just say Scottish tap water, Scotland forever! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, like, a lot of places in this country have great tap water. Like, back home, when I was about maybe eight or nine, our, um, our water source was changed. And it was a bit of a problem in some ways because it was hard water. So it would scale up, like, it would scale up the, the kettle, it would scale up any, like, appliances that used water. But 
it tasted incredible because it was from like a spring source and it, it just it tasted better than any bottled water or anything it's so good so good Hannon, hello have you ever drunk ta oh god london tap water i haven't but i have taken i breathed breathed i have taken breaths in the city of london and i kind it was it was terrible like i experienced a wild thing i went i well the last time i was in london was 2017 it was it was august 2017 it was so warm it was unbelievably warm and the air in the city like once i was there two days i didn't notice it quite as much but then i went directly from london like i stopped off in dublin for like maybe one night and then went back home to south tip and the difference in air quality was unbelievable it was like somebody opening like opening a window in a stuffy room and sticking their head out like it was unreal how bad the air quality was in, in london i don't know how people live there like it's, it's awful it's really really awful yeah straight up smog it's rough it really is <gasps> jedi hello i hope uni was all right hope you're keeping very very well bluish says thames water is safe to drink that's as complimentary as indeed oh no oh no Oh, goodness. Um, Seal Steel says a lot of problem with tap water because in so many places have chlorine in the water. I'm allergic to chlorine. Oh, God, that's rough. Like, a lot of the places here that have chlorine in the water, like, the water's still fine. You just have to let it sit, you know? Oh, so Thought says, no, it's cool. Like, the Murray water tastes slightly silty, but the filter system's solid, and also it's cool to realize, hey, this is Murray water. That is actually kind of cool, honestly. As long as it's safe to drink, then, you know, that is kind of wild. I'm going to check on the soup. How is the soupy soup? How are you getting on over here? Soupy soup is going, going all right actually, you know it's doing well. Yeah, all places have a certain amount of chlorine in tap water. I think some places need to put in more to compensate maybe, I don't know. I don't know. Dude, I'm just trying to make sure because when you have a thick stew or sauce or anything, there's such a high chance of burning bits to the bottom. I'm always worried that's gonna happen with something like this. So I'm just, I'm actually gonna get something different to stir this because that is too big and awkward. Oh, uh aha, -huh. here we go. It's the business. You just get down around the edges, you know? You know? Oh, this is getting a little creamier now. I'm gonna give it another little while, because it will be worth it. It'll absolutely be worth leaving it a little longer. The water on the highlands, crisp, life-giving, beautiful. Beautiful, fantastic. Do, 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 do. It even looks like the Lazy Boy No Chew Stew so far. I'm delighted. <laughs> oh, my parents live in Pum F Nowhere and their tap water tastes fantastic. Yeah, like often when you live in the middle of nowhere, you just have great tasting tap water. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oh, but yeah, like usually if I'm home visiting my mum, if I remember to bring my water bottle with me, I'll fill it up before I leave because the, the water there is honestly lovely. Which is gas because she doesn't actually like the taste of it. But to me, it tastes like spring water. When we were home, um, we went to a place called Patrick, St. Patrick's Well. If anyone's been in South Tip, I, if you're looking for something to do, look for a place called St. Patrick's Well. It's a little holy well. It's not very little. It's actually quite big. But it's beautiful. And spring water. Now, they have to, by law, because the water is not treated, they have to, by law, put a little sign saying, this is untreated water, don't drink it. But people will just bring bottles down there to fill up and bring home. <laughs> so, you know, and have done for decades, for oh, probably hundreds of years. And when I was down there, I got, I just like, I, I bent down, I was like, what are you doing? And I cupped a little bit of water. That, you know, when you take water from like a fresh stream, and it's, it, it, it no wonder it's a holy well. Like, honestly, it's just... It's just beautiful. It is it is the nicest water I've ever had. It is so, so gorgeous. Like, when you think of way, way back when, where people would gather around holy wells, which are a big thing in Ireland, in rural Ireland, like, of course they would gather around somewhere that just has this unbelievably, like, cold, fresh water, you know? New Worm, hello, there's no spoilers here, so you are safe. How are you doing? 
And thoughts as I love our rivers, the Murray Darling River Basin takes up a third of the continent, which is mad. And then there's the Snowy Hydro System, which was made in the 50s and it's an amazing feat of engineering. I didn't know anything about like rivers or anything in, in Australia. I'm learning. I'm learning. I'd never heard the names or anything. Oh my goodness. Zara Dragon says, Newer else had amazing water in Finland. I don't remember drinking any water in Finland. I know why that is, mind you. Oh, me, me tea, me tea, me tea, me tea. Um, Sky walketh, hello, that happens with a fountain in my grandma's village. There's a huge sign that's like, don't drink the water, there's always someone filling their water. Like, like, I understand that they have, to, they have to put a sign there if it's not treated, so the people know. And goodness forbid that if, I suppose if people do get sick, they can be like, well, we told you not to drink the water. But it is some of the most beautiful water. I don't know if you're strictly supposed to drink water from a holy well if it's disrespectful or whatever, but I mean, everybody seems to do it, so. <laughs> it is a really beautiful, actually, do you want to see the place? I have, I still have a picture of it on my phone from when we're down there. Um, Light with films, hello, we got here, so we're talking about tap water, because I, I got water, we're talking about drinking enough water, because we're our, our soup is simmering away, or, or our stew is simmering away. Let me show you a picture of this place that I took when we were down. No, oh, too far. Uh, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Here, around here, it should be here. I took a video of the place, actually, which is even better. I'm going to show you this. It's one of the nicest places in the world, I honestly think. Let me just get, get, get. Just observe this with your eyeballs. Like when you, if you come to visit Ireland, if you're not from here, if you're not living here, go to these places. Don't go into Temple Bar. Well, although just if you go there, be respectful and don't wreck the place, you know? Look at this. Do you know how lucky I feel to have like spent a childhood kind of like visiting these places a lot. Look how gorgeous that is. Like yes, it's wet and rainy and windy, but it is absolutely beautiful. Like it's just, love it. Love it. Look at the little bubbles in the spring. Look how clear the water is. Look at it. Look at the clear water. Look at it! Look at it! Look at the little bubbles! Ah! I love, I love watching the bubbles come up. And even when I was younger, I used to be fascinated watching the bubbles come up. It is such a beautiful place. It really, really is. Um, take one says, as someone who grew up in high desert, I'm so jealous. I've, I always felt very lucky to be out and about, like out, not out in the wild, but like out walking in places like that when I was a kid. So. What would you expect in our room to be rainy and windy? Exactly, you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared. I'm gonna give this a little stir. I don't want it to burn to the bottom of the pot. That'd, that'd be just the look. I feel like I probably should have browned the chicken a little more, but at least it'll be, it'll be hopefully nice and soft. Oh my God, this smells amazing. I'm gonna just put a, a big help and a pepper on it because I feel like I, I forgot that step. Oh, but yeah, it's one it's one of the nicest places. It really, really is. And it's very well maintained as of recent years. Like when I was younger, <laughs> it was it was a little like it wasn't wrecked or anything, but it just wasn't like nobody was looking after the place. But when we went down, there was someone around just so you know, watching the place, keeping an eye on it, and it's it's nice. The the place deserves that kind of that kind of respect, you know, because it's it's a very, very old, very, very old well. Right now, I'll let that simmer away. I just want this to be good and thick, you know? I don't want it to be watery. And um, with respect to Holy Wells and the words of Cave Johnson, best case scenario, you'll get super hairs. Worst case, you'll get some tumors. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> Travel o hurt, hello! Cake making stew is their stewed cake. Cake stew. <laughs> Stream themes the last hour, butter, where's Dave? Mash spuds, hugs for shark, tap water. That's a standard day. Honestly, it's a fairly relaxed day because everyone, everyone's on the hype train of Pokemon and actually playing the game. So they're taking that time for themselves so we can have a nice chat. A little, a little slower pace today than usual. And it's quite nice every so often, you know? You know? I still must go back and maybe give Sun and Moon another chance. I barely remember it. A little chit chat, exactly. I can actually keep up with you as well. Um, also, Mark says, just finished cooking up some Italian sausage and bacon for Ooh, tortilla pizza. Ooh. 
cozy chat, exactly. A nice owl time. Um, Sweat says I play Pokemon and watch the street. Oh no, you're living you're living a good life, honestly. I I really I might pick the game up for myself this weekend. I'll see how I'm see how I'm going in the pockets, but I think I think I I think I should pick it up. Seems very fun. Oh, for a second I thought that was a massive bottle of glue. Oh no, not at all. Imagine though. No, don't imagine. It's kind of weird. Don't imagine that. Don't think about it. My copy of Arceus is delayed until the 9th. Oh no. I, I'm always so worried about like pre-ordering things online like that because I feel like it would never arrive when it's supposed to. Um, Thought says oh, it seems like 70% of Twitch is playing Pokemon. And they're right too. They really are right. Um, I know... <laughs> I know Dan was just like, I, I was talking to him about it like recently, he was like, yeah, I'm going out that morning, I am going to the shop, I am buying the game, and as soon as I get home, I'm starting the stream. I was like, you are, you're entirely right, and you should, you absolutely should, and I, I'll probably, again, I probably won't stream it, but as soon as I get it, I'll probably just, like, I'll probably just put my entire brain into it for a few days. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I'm um, speaking- Oh, yeah, there's a Steam- Lads, speaking of games, there's a Steam sale. Another one. I feel like we only just had the New Year sale, but we have the Lunar New Year Steam sale at the minute. So, lads, go have a nose around, see if there's anything you want. It, I know the people were raving about wanting to get Slime Rancher the last time we were playing it, so that might be on sale. I feel like most things go on sale in a Steam sale, so... Yeah, I check what's on there, but I don't have Steam on my mobile phone, and I if I open it on that laptop, the stream will immediately end and it will go up on fire. <laughs> it's slime for fun. I enjoy it. It's it's very nice. You can play in a, in like different modes and stuff. I think it's if it's not, you know, I would say it's worth a try. Oh, I want to pick up unpacking because I really want to play it on stream. And I think it'd be I think it'd be nice for just like a chill evening. You know, would we be up for a stream of unpacking sometime? I think I want to play Spirit Fair first because I've been I've not been deliberately putting it off. It's just I feel like everything's been getting in the way of it. You know, so I no, it's partially my own fault, but you know. Oh, I, I, I do want to play Spirit Fair, and I feel like I will have a lot of emotions. And it's, it feels like a long time since you played a game over the course of maybe like two or more weeks, you know? It feels like a long time since we've done that. I know that in 2020 I played a lot of new games, like, and I, I feel like I didn't do that so much in the last year. So I want to go. <gasps> Slime Rancher is six euro instead of 20. Go. J just go. 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 J go. <laughs> Dragon Blake Loaf, I get any more games, I have too many options, won't play anything. That is completely fair, I know that. I, I, it, It's a very first world problem, but I completely understand that it's happened to me as well. Um, oh, Pickle says, when I try something cool, try Sea of Thieves, had massive fun pirating around with my brother. I've heard really good things about Sea of Thieves, I've heard it's just great fun, like really, really good fun. I've watched a couple of people play it, it's great. So, so great. Princess, do I dare ask, what's Princess Maker? Oh wait, this looks kind of this looks kind of that's kind of cute. That's adorable. Oh, do you know what that reminds me of? Actually, Anson Mark, you know what game you put back in my game? Oh, no, I've never heard of Princess Maker, but you know you've reminded me of. Do you ever hear of Long... Is it called Long Live the Queen? It's... It is not a very complicated game, but it, I remember in college a load of us got hooked on it because it's really cheap. It's really simple to pick up. And it's essentially like you play as this princess who is in training to be a queen and you have to survive a full year of like assassination attempts and all that kind of stuff. And it's... It's really, really... Oh, wait, it was inspired by Princess Maker. I might actually give Princess Maker a look. Is it super hard? I have never won. I know I haven't played it in a few years. I have never actually managed to complete it. I always get killed. I, I always get killed. We might do a stream sometime and see if I can actually... Um, see if I can finish um, Long Live the Queen and actually survive the full year. That would be really fun, I think, sometime. Might put that on the I don't know what to play tonight list. I think I think that would be neat anyway. This is get oh this is getting tick. Oh it's getting tick. I think this is nearly done. 
no chew, so I'll make sure everything's nice and soft. Um, you also says big shout to isthereideal.com. I always forget about that website. It's so, so handy. That is a very, very handy link. We'll, we'll overlook it this time, Mio Hansen. No, but seriously, it's a very, very handy website. I would recommend it. And Elky Tree, welcome back. How are you keeping? Hello. Um, Onsen Art says there's four out of five Princess Maker games on Steam. I don't know if Princess Maker 4 ever dropped on PC. I might have a look. I'm gonna have a look. Um, what a miss. I Vigs! Hello, how are you keeping? Are you very, very well? Are you very well? Our stew is nearly done. What time of the day is it? It's 20 to 5, so we're doing all right. We're doing all right on time. Oh, Caroline just got unpacking. Very good. I always forget how many things are in Game Pass, and I, I think I still have Game Pass. I might have to check in. I, I might have cancelled my Game Pass subscription, and I don't remember. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out later. I'll figure it out later. But I, I do want to... There's a few things that I was putting off getting in the Steam sale last time, so... I'm gonna... I'm gonna go and check it out. Check it, check it, check it out! Oh, Super Robot Wars 30 is on sale. I'm not familiar with it. Oh no, Red Wolf, you got unpacking last week. Still worth it. Um, Nafi says, I checked my wishlist on Steam. Basically, everything's on sale. Oh no, my money and my time. I, I wonder if they sent me one of those emails like, these things on your wishlist are on sale. But the problem with me and wishlists on um, on Steam is I, I put things there and I forget about them. Hey! Zargon Dragon sent- I just got an email saying that Zargon Dragon sent me a gift copy of Unpacking. Who do you think you are? Thank you! Ah, thank you! How dare you be nice! Thank you so much, oh my goodness. Oh, I actually don't think I still have Game Pass. I, I think I cancelled it a while ago. Scotland forever! Scotland- Wait, I'm gonna find the soundbite. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I have to watch an ad to see this. Hang on. Why is it so slow? muscles hurt all of them they all hurt so much oh oh god <laughs> oh wait there's another one that just says scotland forever very very loud okay 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 you know, this has been great and all. Sorry, my pants are falling down. But I have to stir the soup, the stew, the food. I know this sounds weird, but I need to stab the broccoli to see if it's done. Because I, I obviously, I don't want it to melt away to nothing, but I don't want it to be like rock solid. Oh, it's perfect. Okay. 
the soup, I believe, is done. I forgot to pick up some nice fancy bread to go with this. And I was in the shop this morning, and you know the way Lidl has the little bakery? And I was like, oh, I should get some bakery bread to go with it. Did I? Did I get bakery bread? No, I did not. I completely forgot to pick it up. So we'll just have regular Brennans with it, and that'll be fine. Or nothing. Speaking of long, oh, Long Live the Queen is 399 US dollars. It's $3.99 and probably maybe, I don't know, maybe two or three euro. It's a very, it's honestly like, it doesn't sound very compelling, but Long Live the Queen is just, it is a really, really fun game. Um, my apartment's fire alarm sounds exactly like a bagpipe, so whenever it goes off, I always think it's the Scotland audio. It's so good. Oh, goodness. Oh, Zahata's got brioche. I should, I want to try making brioche because I want to suffer a little bit. All the Yakuza games are on sale. I feel like everything, everything is on is on sale. Um, Zalt says, God give Scotland mad props. They know how to make an inspirational anthem. Like, ever played Civ 6 of Scotland? Reach the industrial era and your win is guaranteed from the quality of the music alone. It's incredible. It's incredible. <laughs> oh, goodness. The not oh, I haven't taught you the Irish word for stew. Well, I might have to do that sometime. I'm sorry, my nail is breaking. Pour one out for my poor nail. And that's what I get for not filing my nails. <gasps> oh, so it's the airport waiting for the plane. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Can we get a safe journey for Tobin's VR? Safe journey. And Quack Among Us, hello. Only mildly. Security only mildly if you're no! Oh, security can be stressful sometimes. I'm so sorry. I hope you're I hope you'll be feeling alright by the time you touch down here. I hope so. I hope so. Quack Among Us, today we are I, I have made the stew. I actually just want to let it sit for a minute because I'm what the heck is on my phone? Away. Put this over here. Um, I, I'm just giving it a minute because it is incredibly, like, it's way too hot to even touch, so, you know, can't be doing that. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Red Wolf's always like, anytime I go through TSA, I'm always like, what if I had a gun on? <laughs> what if I have a gun on me and I don't even own a gun? <laughs> it's like when you're walking down the street and a guard passes you by and you're like, what if I get arrested? And you're like, why would I get arrested? There's no I haven't done anything. <laughs> Like, you, I, I get like that sometimes going through security in an airport, like, the, I haven't gone on, I haven't gone on the plane in like over two years, which I, I really miss it, I actually really like, and I know this is weird, because a lot of people get stressed in airports, I love the experience of going through an airport, and I'm not, I mean, not, not security necessarily, but I love the experience of going through an airport, being on a plane and coming out the other side, I just, I don't know why, I just, I, the novelty has never worn off for me. I, I I went through a while there where I, I went, I had quite a lot of flights in a short space of time and I was like, oh, I'm going to hate flying after this. No, nope, no, nope, still love it. <laughs> um, I kept trying to not look suspicious, but maybe look more suspicious. <laughs> no. When I leave a store without purchasing something, will I be arrested for theft? It's like, you know, when you go into shops that don't really have an exit unless you go through the, 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 the checkout like sometimes i'll go into a shop and they won't have what i need like a supermarket so i'll try to leave but you can't go out the entrance because it's like it's a one-way system so you have to go up to a staff member and be like can i just cut out through here and you're walking out and you're like i'm a criminal <laughs> and sister says i feel bad having a big person in any store i'm like oh god they're gonna think i'm shoplifting no you're oh my god no all the okay so I get this. I I did this yesterday. When you try, when you're walking and you suddenly try to look normal when you're walking. So if I'm out walking, like walking for the good of my health, I never put my Fitbit bit back on. Speaking of good of my health, I don't know where I put it. Here it is. And I like I'm in my zone. I got my headphones on and I'm just like you know, and somebody walks past me and I suddenly just kind of, I just kind of forget how my legs work. <laughs> you kind of go from you, you go from to like. You know, you just, I don't know what it is. I don't know why. You just start overthinking every step you take, you know? Uh, still wake up thinking of homework to do when I finish postgrad two years ago. No, no. Um, all the way through Rome, hello. I've accidentally done a crime before. I turned left at a no left turn light and see the, the sign. Camera auto issued the ticket and sent it to the wrong address. I got a warrant for my arrest for not appearing in court. Oh my God. Oh no, you poor thing. I hope it, I hope it wasn't too much 
trouble for you after. Okay, you were able to pay a fine. That's that's something at least. Oh my goodness, that's that's heartbreaking. Oh goodness. Um, Hatama says, I was once in an airport and I wanted to fill my water bottle in the bathroom. Something horrible happened. The water from the tap had soap. No. Oh no. Oh, what I always try find kind of funny is, <laughs> and I'm not telling anybody to, you know, de necessarily spread the word of this. This is a secret between me and all, however many there are of you, I don't want to know. Irish security in airports is kind of lax. I mean, they do all the checks, they scan everything. But I rem I just, like, it was just the difference in attitude, I suppose. I was going over to Manchester a couple of years ago. And on this side, I had a little, like, you know, like a solid lip balm. And I goes up to your one because the little liquids bag I had was full. And I go up to your one in security. I was like, here, do I have to put this in? I'm sorry, I just, I can't. It was in my pocket. I can't fit. And she was like, no, it's fine. It's grand. Leave it in your pocket. It's completely fine. It's only a li she was, And she was like, oh, it's only a little lip balm. It's grand. Like, don't worry about it. When I'm coming back through Manchester on the other side, I do the same thing. Because again, I don't have space for the lip balm. And your man goes to me. He's like, you have to put the lip balm. We can't let you through if you don't put the lip balm. He gets really serious with me, like really, really serious. It's like, it's, we consider that to be a liquid and it could be like a, it could be, we don't know what it is. I was like, okay. So I, I had to like reorganize the entire bag, but it was just so weird. Like we're not, it's not that we don't obey what we need to do to keep the airport safe and whatever, but we're just, I don't know. It was just, it was just weird, you know, it was weird. Um, so he says I'm using my Irish passport for the exact reason as you're right to, as you're right to. It, yeah, I was thinking like, is a lip balm liquid? Because in some airports now, to be fair, they do say if it's like a balm or like a cream, it is considered a liquid. So, you know, it's the same here. I should be, <laughs> I be grand. And I kind of got a similar thing in Helsinki. I still think Helsinki airport is so lovely. It's tiny, it's a tiny, or at least the part I was in was very small. All the staff were just, you know, relaxed. Not in like a not doing anything way, but like, they were just, you know, they're just there. There's no strain, no worry. Everything was nice. I went, I've never had such a vast walk through security in my life in the airport. I was through the security in Helsinki airport in about one single minute. No waiting, no messing. There was like two or three lanes and that was it. And that was it, that, that was it, done. That, that was it. It was great, it was such a nice experience. It was lovely, I'd do it again. Um, Bluish says Glasgow Airport's just the is just a bunch of guys who'll kick you if you're doing a terrorism. Please, please do not do the terrorism, please and thank you. I need to put on more music. Oh, I'm gonna put on Beachside Holiday because you're not sick of hearing that I'm yet somehow. 10, oh shush. Sorry, I was I was shushing the ads, not ye or the music. Go away, go away, I don't want no ads. I was gonna keep it Pokemon music the whole way through, but I kind of exhausted the reliably good playlists that I have for, for Pokemon music. Honestly, today Heathrow was like 10 minutes. As, I suppose as it goes, that's not the worst. Not the worst. Um, Hatama said some time ago, um, someone in the airport, a guard wanted me to get a deck of Magic the Gathering for my backpack because they thought it was something strange. Oh no, I had more than 700 cards in my backpack. Oh God. Mez says, I've never been on a plane. I enjoy, I really, really enjoy, enjoy being on a plane. Don't know why. I don't know why, I just, I just think it's a nice experience. Like, it's weird when you think about it too much, but I, I like the novelty. I like the novelty. Um, Red Wolf says, when we're in Ireland, we watched some of the TV of the airport security in Australia, and some of the things people tried to bring in were wild. Oh yeah, I can't remember what it's called, but there is a thing like people smuggling like, you know, animals and stuff. It's like, God, you can't, you can't be doing that. You can't be doing that. <clears throat> I, um... I got stopped in security coming back, also from Manchester, but it, I think actually it might have been the same time or maybe it was a different time. I don't remember. I don't remember. But I remember, um, I remember what I was wearing. I was wearing like a long sleeve dress. I was wearing my petticoat. So I was like, like this, because there was no way I was putting that. You don't put a petticoat in the suitcase if you can help it because it, may, it takes up a lot of space. And I had a pair of like denim shorts underneath because it was kind of cold. It was, I think it was maybe March. So it was a bit chilly and like thick tights and everything. So I go through security. I go through the little beepy thing and it beeps me. I'm like, oh geez. So I, I, I think I maybe had like jewelry in. I was like, okay, I'll take that out. And I go through again and it beeps. I was like, oh, I know what it is. It's my shorts. And they're like, your shorts? I was like, yeah, there's a little metal button on my shorts. Cause they're just, just, you know, shorts. Ow. And I was like, no, no, like it's, it's fine. So they had to bring me away into one of the little, like the rooms where they bring suspicious people from security. 
and, and now it was completely fine. There's nothing weird about it. But I, I was laughing at the end of it because I had to, I, I wasn't in the nip or anything. I just had to take off my shorts that were like on over two or three pairs of tights. And I was like, they're them. And then they could scan me up and down. They're like, oh, grand. And then they talked the head off me for like 15 minutes about, do you know my cousin in Kilkenny? <laughs> but they were very nice at least. Um, Pickles says, I have a very specific outfit for traveling by playing no belts, no nothing, everything's elastic and comfy. Honestly, that makes sense. But I uh, like, because it, it means you're less likely to be stopped in security and you get to be comfortable as well, you know? I, um, I always, if I'm going somewhere where I'm bringing like Lolita clothes and stuff, I will just wear my petticoat on the plane because I just don't want to pack that. It's, it, it's like this size. It's like this size. Okay, you can squish it down, but I prefer not to because I think it's a bit flat, you know? You know? Oh, goodness, did they go to school with McDara? They might have done. They were, they were checking my drip. The drip. The drip that day was, was pretty good, honestly. Oh, goodness. Of course it was turned into an every nose. Of course it was all... Oh, it was it was Manchester, of course. Like, the, the, um, I really like Manchester and the people were very friendly. So naturally, they were like, Oh, sure, look, you know your one down the road. You know Mary with the head in her down the road. It was like, yeah, of course I do. Um, Sky says, I used to watch the TPS Australia show and once they stopped a 20-something Korean guy whose mom had packed his suitcase full of chock full, full of illegal food items. Oh no. Oh no. Um, Thought says, I love Fiji's airport security. Honestly, we walked off the plane, there was a security desk, it was empty, we just walked out. Oh my god, that's gas. Hey, Char, look after yourself, we'll see you soon. Look after your good, good self. Alright, I'm gonna give this a little a little stir. Oh it's 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 oh it looks so good. It smells so good. I'm going to I'm gonna get a bowl. I'm gonna get a big bowl. Uh, that's, that's, I'm gonna get a bowl that is the sh the size of a bowl, because I have one clean bowl left. Because I've used all the other bowls for stuff. I'm going to you can't really plate up soup, you kind of have to bowl it? No, that doesn't sound weird. No, that doesn't sound right. Now, I did let it maybe simmer a little too long once I put the broccoli in. So the broccoli's disintegrated like a little bit, but honestly, I think it'll be grand. I think it'll be fine. Oh my god, this smells amazing. It smells so good. Are you ready to see the soup? Are you ready to see the soup? Are you ready to see the soup? I don't know if you're ready to see the soup. I always feel like baked goods are a little more impressive to show up to the camera, but you know. I can't really rotate these either, so I'll just have to hold it. Oh, that sounds good. Okay. You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here it is! Oh, look at that. Can I, can I angle the camera down a little bit without... Oh, I can. Behold! Brock's Lazy Boy No Chew Stew. You do not have to chew unless you chew... Actually, no, I, I would advise that you do chew this soup. <laughs> Behold! We have broccoli, we have carrots, we have spuds, we have chicken, and we have a lovely, creamy, cheesy broth. Is that good looking or is that good looking? What do we think? What do we think? Oh, that's hot. That's what I think. Let me stand. Let me stand up the camera. Whoa! I like being able to do that. <laughs> it, it actually looks really, really good. It looks a little bit. I have to move the camera back. It looks a little different from when I made it last time, which now, mind you, was quite a while ago. What am I after doing with the camera? Hmm. I don't know what I've done with it. Ah, that's close enough. That's close enough. Actually, no, it's a little, a little too far over one way. <laughs> there we go. I think it was about there. That'll do. That'll do. Actually, I'm going to make that when I get home. Yes! 
You let me know how you get on with it. Let me know if you enjoy it. If you haven't enjoyed it. And Caroline, we gotta go now. I um, hope the stew is good and tasty. Have a good weekend, lads. And Caroline, have a good weekend. We'll see you soon. Very, very soon. <sighs> it is almost the time. When can we all come over to have a bowl? When, whenever you can get here. <sighs> it smells really good. It actually, it doesn't have a very, very strong smell. It's, it's a very like mellow flavor because it mostly just tastes like cheese. And we have to do, as is tradition, the taste prediction. Leave me some in the fridge. I was actually, because I did make quite a lot of it. I was considering asking if you want some, because there is a lot of this and there's only two of us in the house, you know? While it's fresh, but I, I, might, I might send on a message later on. We have a taste prediction ongoing. I haven't, I, I have not tasted this at all. I took a little taste of it while I was cooking. I didn't say nothing, but sad Dutch people noises. Oh no! Like Amanda says, I love cooking, but I hate how long cooking takes. It can take a long time, but I find, particularly if you're making a big load of something, it can be a very, very nice experience, because you get, you know, you get your end product, and you get a lot of it. Ten points against it being good. That's funny. Oh, goodness. 131,000.1. I think it's going to be good. Oh, goodness, lads. I stand to win 130,000 of this. That's true. If this is somehow absolutely disgusting, Jedi Fire will have so many channel points. It's unbelievable. I believe it'll be good, but the points. Sometimes you gotta take the risk. A for Gryffindor. PG Wipeout. Hello, and thank you for the bits. I thank you very, very much. I thank you very, very much. How are you keeping? <clears throat> I also know it's gonna be great. I, I have, you see, it could go wrong. Moth, hello! It could go wrong. Like somehow maybe it tastes like nothing. But the thing with, like, versus when I do baked goods, when you have the finished baked good, you can't really do much to save it if it tastes bad. Like, unless you like put something on it. But if you have a soup that doesn't taste quite right, you can always like put extra salt in it, you can put se different seasoning in it. Now, sometimes there's nothing else you can do. I saw that, I saw that Bobbington. Oopsie Day says I've just put 50 on being bad just because the these odds. All right, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna taste. I'm gonna taste, and I'm not going to make. I'm not gonna tell you nothing yet. Hmm. The criteria is that it's no chew. It doesn't have to be delicious. Just no chewing. Hmm. <laughs> oh, stop it. Stop it! No. I'm gonna make you suffer. <laughs> to be honest, you barely do need to chew it. It's very soft, but... But... Not saying nothing. Elite, hello. I'm saying nothing. I need to try some broccoli. Why do you make us suffer? Have we not entertained you? Have we not been good? You've been incredibly good. That's why I'm making you suffer a little bit. I wouldn't make you suffer if I didn't if I didn't enjoy your your company. You know, lads, I have to tell you, and I know that there will be some disappointed among you. That's so good. That's so good. That's so good. If you are even, if you are even thinking about making this, do it. Just, just make it. 
Just make it. It is so good. Just, just go make it. Go right now. Go immediately. Right. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care where you are. Just go. Just make the soup. It's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. Has anything you've ever made not been good? Yes, we've had a few. Um, we've had a few disappointing weeks, but not many. But that's the risk, you know. Um, expect a toast to go. Been grinding Pokemon Legends all day. Are you enjoying yourself? I mean, that's probably a silly question. Oh, it's so. It is just. The first taste I took of it, actually, it, it took a lot of willpower to not just go, oh my god, that's so good. Because, so it's not overwhelmingly cheese. How do I explain this? It is just, it's so creamy. It's so creamy. You get a real nice bit of, like, the flavor from the, from the chicken stock. You get, you can taste the broccoli through it, which is gorgeous. Oh my god. That is, it's, I, I can't begin to tell you just how delicious this is. I, I re, I, more than most other times ever, I really wish I could let everybody taste this. It is just so good. Mm. Mm. It's so good, cake, I'm on a bus. Will you get off that bus right now and make the soup? Oh, goodness. Um, expect to us it's super fun, so refreshing to have new Pokemon stuff that's different. I, I really, oh, I really want to play it now and I don't want to get a digital, I want to get a physical copy of it as well. Yeah, the point of a stew is to be shared. That's why. The recipe, if you would like it, is exclamation mark recipe. I've always, also, if you want it after stream, you, I mean, the command will probably still work, but you can get it, it's over in Discord. Actually, for any new friends who happen to be here, I'm not done yet, I'm still gonna chat to you for a little while. You can head on over to Discord. I have it in food, and, I posted in food and drink, and it's in announcements. I posted it like an hour before stream, so you can go check it out. I would, but I have to get the ingredients. Will I tell you something that impre in, kind of impressed me? This was very cheap to make. Oh, it's my toast. I got physical and games up to get Pokeball and a cool steel case. Oh my god. Ooh. Is this soup with last week's soda bread? That would be amazing. I didn't make any bread today. I was. I, I meant to pick up some nice fancy bread in the shop, but I just forgot. Oh, Zerga Dragon says I'm going to jet, so I'm not all. Oh, you're going to IKEA! Have a good time in IKEA. Say hello to the, to, to the Scogs. We'll see you soon. Could be done without broccoli. I think it'll be good without broccoli. The flavor will be a little different, but if you don't like the flavor of broccoli, then that's that's gonna be great for you. So I reckon you can make without broccoli. You could probably make it without the chicken as well, and just you know, season it a little differently if you're vegetarian or if you just don't have it to hand. I can tell you, hang on, do you know what? I could get the receipt and literally tell you exactly how much it costs to get this all together. Ding! Did I take the receipt from the shop? I did. I'm not showing you the receipt because then you might dox me. So, there's a few things I had in the house already. Like, I had the, I had the salt and pepper and the milk. But all I had to get in the shop was chicken breast, soft cheese, which I got two of accident. Now, if you get chicken from a butcher or wherever it might be, like obviously the meat is different prices everywhere. It was €3.69 for the chicken. It was 59 cents for the thing of cream cheese. The broccoli was 89 cents. The spuds for the whole bag of spuds was 99 cents. We only used a few of them. I'm gonna use the others something else later. The carrots were 49 cents. Um, and the, the butter I used as part of the roux was 49 cents. That's not bad. And I know obviously that like, you know, prices for food vary everywhere, but if you're in Ireland at least, or maybe I know prices tend to be similar-ish in the UK, um, and even if it's a different currency, that's not bad. And that is a lot of soup. Like, that's... That's several people of soup, if you know what I mean. If you don't want meat other than the chicken, I haven't. I really, I prefer chicken over most other meat. But you could probably... I, I don't know if what, what it would be like with another meat, because I find the chicken and cheese go together very well. Yeah, about a tenner. Like, maybe even a less than a tenner if you happen to have like the the garlic and onions at home and even those like they don't tend to be very very expensive in the shop maybe a, a euro altogether kind of thing euro 50 altogether so pretty good pretty good um mez says i can describe my attempt at cooking in one sentence god is dead and my cooking has killed him oh no oh goodness you poor chicken. Um, expected toast says, I almost died in the game because I rolled and accidentally flew off the mountain and almost broke my legs. Oh no. Oh goodness. No leg. Threadhead says, would it be good with parsnips? 
Maybe. I'm trying to think what the what would the earthy flavor be like with this. Earthy. I reckon like you could try it with parsnips. Actually, you know, I don't see why not. I think parsnips. I like parsnips a lot, so maybe I'm biased, but I think parsnips would be nice. Oh, Astroface! So, <laughs> someone in the office of soup. My brain keeps thinking it's from the stream. It's like, ah, yes, we got the smell of vision installed. What well, with bacon bits? I think if you crumble little bacon bits on top of this, you'd be you'd be living. You'd be living. That would be that'd be great. If you do it. Actually, good point, Mez. Because this is kind of like a creamy base, you could probably you could probably put fish in this. And I know a lot of people um, don't put fish in like soups and stews, but I really think you could make a nice like fish stew with this kind of base, like creamy. All it's not quite the same consistency as chowder in the the creamy broth, but it's not far off, and I think it would actually work pretty well. Mmm. Um, croutons, if you don't want bacon bits, if you don't- if you don't eat bacon, or if you're a vegetarian or whatever, croutons. Croutons. I suppose, yeah, technically adding fish makes a chowder, but look, we won't split hairs. <laughs> Next recipe, Eowyn's soup for Aragorn. Absolutely not. I don't want- I- I- I love- I love her, I think she's great. I don't want to- I, I don't want to fall apart. Can January be cozy soup month? Yes! But that's I need to make you aware that it is the end of the month. This is the last- Food and drink stream of the month. And um, Derelict Diva says 49 cents for butter. I think a euro is five times the Canadian dollar and there's still half what we pay for butter. No, to be fair, this isn't like spready butter for bread. This is um, is baking butter that I use for my roux because it doesn't leave any flavor afterwards. And I that, that tends to be very, very cheap. Um, you can get butter cheap enough here anyway, but like a tub of, hang on. Oh, where's the dairy gold? I think I put it in the fridge like a, like an organized person. No, I have to. Oh, it is, it is. I just pushed it in the back of A tub of butter like this would tend to be like maybe three euro fifty. And this is for like, this is salted butter. That would be three euro fifty. <laughs> and soup could kill a Nazgul. That's, that's true, honestly. No wonder she was able to bait the head off your man, you know? Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> time isn't real, I know, right? Oh goodness, time is not real. Would you like to see? I, I put a lot of the broccoli in my bowl. There'd be nothing left for anything else. Would you like a little bit of broccoli? It's very cheesy broccoli. It's actually no. It's it's not actually very very cheesy flavor. It's hard to explain. Because you'd think, having put an entire package of cream cheese in there, that it would taste of nothing but cheese. But because it's cream cheese, it's very mild. It's very, very mild. That's real good. Real, real good. Hee hee hee. Just smear a bit on the camera first, and there you go. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, so nice. But yeah, um, it is almost the end of January. Monday will be the last stream of the month. But I think because our our winter is essentially January through March, so I'll probably make another few things like this. Because this is nice and I've been enjoying cooking things. But you know, I wanna get some use. I wanna get some use out of the new icing bag soon. Did Gabe and Asia ever come back? Actually, I didn't get to wish them a happy birthday. I feel like a fool. I'm. Just, I was so. I was so heartbroken that I was. Just, I was in the middle of like. I doing a couple of time sensitive things. Maybe they'll come back before we finish up. I don't even want to make that now. Excellent cold. Really, really good cold weather food. Stews are incredible. So good. Love a stew because you can kind of throw anything you want in a stew. You know. Thoughts is don't remember that bitch, but from context, I'm guessing anyone's not a good cook. She's not a good cook. Bless her. There's one. I know. I think maybe it's partially she's not a particularly good cook, and they have nothing available to them. It's. It's when they're they're. I oh God. I can't remember. Is it in the two towers? I feel like it's in the two towers. Or maybe it's in the other. No. Maybe it's in the third. I don't remember anymore. I have them all crushed into one film in my head because I watched them so much. Butterboy, thank you so much for subscribing. Ah, you're too good. Ah, I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. You guys. You guys. Hmm. <laughs> Y'all too good. On that note, I would like to thank you once again for this. I can replace 
I can replace my monitors. I mean, they're not my monitors. I can replace the monitors that I've been borrowing for the last... Long time. Year and a half, two, nearly two years, some of them. Thank you so much. You were, you were all so good. I appreciate Thief cake no more. I was a thief. I didn't steal them. I did not steely wheely automobile those monitors. I, I borrowed them. Borrowed. <laughs> Jeju, how are you doing? Hello, hello, hello. Calvin says, I wish we get tubs of butter like that in the US. You're gonna get butter whipped with canola oil and tubs like that here. We see, this is not pure butter. This is actually, so this is a spready butter, which means it's real butter with, this is actually with canola oil. So it is not butter butter, but it tastes really good. Like you can tell the difference 100%, like even the texture is different. But in the winter, this house is too cold, unless we have the heating on constantly. It is too cold to have real butter in a dish. So we get that until about maybe April. And then we go back on the real butter again in the foil, which is just better. It's just so much better. You answer says I was good, got to eat and shower and I'm meeting a friend later. Oh, enjoy. We'll see you very, very soon. And I hope you have a good time. A good, good time. Whose monitors are they though? Wouldn't you like to know? They're friends. They belong to a friend. Actually, no, no, that's a lie. Like, I, I say lie, I just got it wrong. They actually belong to, um, I think they belong to McDara's work. One of them belongs to a friend. The other two are from McDara's work. Ah. Uh, <laughs> a friend. They're not a friend. No, that didn't sound great uh, out of context or in context. Hmm. It's so good. Tomorrow's stream? No stream tomorrow. I know that um, a lot of people are probably wondering if I'm going to play the new Pokemon game. I am. I just don't know if I'll play it on stream. I probably won't. I might play it myself and I won't be streaming this weekend. I'm going to... I'll take my two days off and have a little relax for me brain. A relax for me brain. But tomorrow, we are going to be watching Return of the King over on Discord. As the extended edition, we've been watching the trilogy over the last few weeks. I hope I can make it long tonight. Actually, I'll, I'll see if I can make it long tomorrow night because I, I really love the film nights. They're just really good fun. They're really, really good fun. And I, I'm glad that you enjoy them as well. And can we get some appreciation for Marsh Girl for the Marsh Witch? Can we get some appreciation for Marsh for always hosting these nights? Marsh is such a good egg. Such a good egg. 10 out of 10. High quality Marsh. I don't think I, I don't think Marsh is here at the minute, but we appreciate you very much. It was Marsh's idea to start the, I, I think to start the film or maybe just you know, just so happened. So happened that she started hosting them, but I am very grateful. Um, Yara says, tomorrow I'm watching No Way Home after our cinemas were closed for five weeks. Oh my goodness. Oh goodness gracious. We, I don't think, our cinemas haven't been closed for a while, but um, oh yeah, um, it's been a week or so into our, our more relaxed restrictions. So I suppose I can talk about them for a minute. Um, we pretty much completely reopened the country. Overnight, last week. W without very much warning. We went from pubs and restaurants closing at 8 p.m. and cinemas closing at 5 to everything open. So that's that's ongoing. That's ongoing. The Netherlands is a big lockdown almost fully open since last Tuesday. Yeah, it was sudden. Like it, it's. It's going, I don't want to, you know, I want to get too, too into it, but I, I want to say like it is happening. And one nice thing is that, you know, I can actually go and see friends in a public space and there's no like, there's no limit on tables and stuff. But I just, I really, really hope it works out okay. Cause I, I know it's, it's not really what anybody expected to have happen. So, hmm, hmm, hmm. So we would just, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know, it's, it's a lot at once. It's, it's a lot all at once. Like, I thought we'd have a gradual thing of it, but better be okay. I just booked a holiday. Oh, where are you going? Oh, you don't have to tell us. You don't have to tell us, but I, I hope you have a nice holiday, though. Oh, it's a lot. And um, Denmark is scratching all restrictions for this Tuesday. Not sure how I feel, I feel safe about that. Oh, no. 
Another reminder to everyone, if you've not gotten your booster shot and you're able to, if you may be, like, I'm not saying that we have any anti-vax people here, I hope we don't, but if you're able to get your vaccine, your, your booster, make sure you get it, make sure you're signed up to get it and whatnot. I hope so. I hope you all get your jabs and we all be nice and healthy to the best of our ability. Oh. Um. <laughs> now, at least in Ireland, like they're still like we're we're still supposed to be wearing masks and everything. And thankfully, ninety nine percent of people I've been running into in public, I said running into, like walking past in shops and stuff, everyone's still wearing masks. Like in the last couple of days, I was in and out of the shop for a few things. The last few days, I saw one one singular person who wasn't wearing a mask. So at least we still got that. We still got that going on. So that's some bit of comfort anyway. Ah, uh, quack among us. Good night. Good night, good night, look after your good self. Be good to you, and we'll catch you soon, all right? Do you want one last spoon of this soup? <laughs> one last spoon of this soup before we get too deep in the, in the void, thinking about, thinking about everything. Remember, lads, no matter what's going on with restrictions, you can always make a nice bowl of soup and stay in the house. <laughs> a nice big soup. <laughs> Kate just zooming around the people in the street and send them flying. Whew. Oh, Debbie says booked Centre Park's Longford with friends for September. Tesco vouchers made a huge dent on price. I keep forgetting that. Does anyone else ever forget that it's just a Centre Park's in Longford? It's the only thing I can think of that's in Longford, to tell you the truth. No, no shade, but they just put the Centre Park's in Longford. Why not? Why not? Why not? Seems like a great time, honestly. All of the all of the promo videos and stuff I saw for it, it looks like great fun. A local radio advertised like crazy wild prices. Yeah, I'd say it's a bit a bit um, pricey, but as Debsy said, if you got those Tesco vouchers, you might be able to might be able to spin something more more reasonable with those. Um, Koala Pan says, Jamie, so happy I found you. Ah, oh, I found you in your stream. Such a wonderful time I've been having. Oh, Koala, that you're all you're all very kind. You're all very very good to me. All of you, every single one of you, 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 not to be pointing, but all of you. <laughs> what time of the evening is it, lads? It is, oh my goodness gracious, nice. it's nearly half past five. Half past five. I might let you go. I might let you go right now in one minute. Right now in one minute, I'll finish my soup and then do a little tidy up. But lads, this, this has been, this has been a fine time. Go, I got, I'm going through to leave you with, and literally everyone, <laughs> everyone, almost everyone is playing Pokemon. I think I'll send you over to someone who is not playing Pokemon. How's it sound? Just because I know a lot of people came in here to avoid spoilers. Would you like to go over to more food and drink? More food, more drink, more food and drink. How's that sound for you? Does that sound like a nice time? <laughs> no Pokemon! <laughs> Just because I, I know so many people are trying to avoid seeing the gameplay. Just, you know, you want to experience yourself. Do we want to go over? I'm going to let you over. I'm going to send you over to Ben, actually. He's make it. What's he make it? Oh, hang on. I'm just going to make sure he's not finishing up. Let me. I, that, that looks like early days. You know, he, he starts kind of. Ah, he's only been going for 20 minutes. That's grand. I'll leave you over with himself. He's making. Oh, he's making a biryani. Lads, do we like a biryani or do we like a biryani? I say that as though I've ever made one on here, but, you know. Head on over to, Baz I always say his name like Bazolton. Head on over to Ben, be lovely lads. Thank you so much for everything today. Thank you for everything this week. Please have a lovely, lovely weekend. And if you make the stew, if you make the stew, let me know. Put a picture in Discord, I wanna see all about it. For anyone new, here is all of the links. If you want to go over to Discord, make sure you read the rules, get yourselves in. And thank you very much for being here. Yeah! Hey, 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 bring some goodness over to himself. I will catch ye hopefully tomorrow on Discord for Return of the King. And if not, I will see you on Monday. I don't know if we'll do Minecraft or something else on Monday, but we'll see. Thank you for everything. Good evening. Goodbye. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.